I'm alive. Hi, Hi. I'm Aussie Brick Chick, and he's Aussie Brick Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to go into the bloopers to the end of the year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and welcome to the couch as we are building the tent porch. Well, when I say we, I mean he is building his technique porch for the how many weeks are you doing this for? Three. Three. No, four. Four. That yes. first box was brutal. So that's what we're up to now. Yeah, we've just we've... finished putting on the inner shell. And tonight, we we'll just had a brief look through the instructions. Looks like we're putting body panels on now. So it's Ooh. actually about looking like a car. Mm. Cool. We'll get there. And as always, we've got some company uh, in the panel joining us. We've got Dark Side Brooks. Hey, everybody. And tonight, <laughs> I'm building. Go to Starfighter is the first step. Star of the Sorry, rebuilding. Star Wars. Yes, there you go, JG, Star Wars. Okay, and we've also got for a very first time appearance on Tuesday night, Dan, the man from New Zealand. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> I haven't decided what I'm building yet. That's okay. You, you can ask people if they want to choose what you want to build. I don't have that many choices. He's like, oh, I'm not that organised. I, I do believe I did. I did ask him like literally this afternoon. I've got Ken Ryan just sitting over there, and I've got a couple of Star Wars vehicles I need to build for a collab. So, I'll be well, I, I think Johnny G was asking for Star Wars because he said that there's too much technique on our Star Wars. Sure, ask Dan to show Nigel. You'll be very impressed. If you haven't seen it yet. Could you make more Lego noise? We'll be in ASMR next. Yeah. <laughs> was it yeah. last week we were working yeah. on ASMR? Yeah. So did you even hear me then, Drew? No, no. He's, it, I, I'm a deaf old lady if you ask our son. You have to ask Dan to show you Nigel and Kraken if you haven't already seen them. Oh, Nigel. Who's Nigel? Oh, Nigel. Not Kevin, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> He's always going to be Kevin to me. Okay, so uh, on Twitch is a young lad called Asgardian Studio. And when you subscribe to his channel, he does a subscriber build. Now, he does all of his building at first in stud.io and he does create a um subscriber requested build and i asked for a kiwi being a new zealander of course why wouldn't i so he built in stud.io i built it in brick.io <laughs> <laughs> nigel <clears throat> so he built it, well, he did a, a digital render and then made an instruction and sent me the instructions. So uh, I was able to do this. What is really, really clever about Nigel, and I'm going to actually trial something tonight with this because I, I was actually thinking about this when I was laying in bed the other night. As weird as that sounds. Not at all. That doesn't sound weird. No, not at all. If you said you were thinking about your partner, then not, that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, she would have just been ignoring it, honestly. But the center of the Kiwi is, two, I don't know how well you can see that, but two one by one bricks with studs on all sides onto a two by two plate. That's the bottom. The top of the kiwi is the same, two one by one bricks with studs on all sides and a tile. And the way that they go together, they go opposite each other and they just slip over the top of each other to create the perfect stud alignment for the sides to come onto. Try that. If you've got the parts, try it. 
because very cute dan i thought being an expat you'd appreciate the um kiwi so that was his one and this is kraken kraken is my brickhead style kiwi oh cool yeah oh yeah you didn't see he pre-built that on friday night oh, yeah I this on your stream on friday night yeah yeah this cool. th that was his second go at it the first one he tried to do a more serious looking one yeah the first one was an epic failure the second one looks really good thank you i've got a lot of requests to um to do instructions for it yes please there you go. I did, I did my bit for dancing. It's not on here usually on Tuesday night. Yeah. Now everyone can shut up and let you talk about the Porsche. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So um, for anyone who, who hasn't caught Dan on our screens before, um, not necessarily this one, if you're, if you're a Friday watcher as well and you've, you've seen Dan or you haven't seen Dan and you don't know he's on Twitch, he's between the bricks. You got that right? Yep. Between the bricks, and he does build streams, which are really entertaining. Considering he he's a solo act. <laughs> Most of the time, I have Most guests sometimes, and I stream. Oh, yes, sometimes, sometimes you invite friends over, but it's not the same as you know what we do here. Just, you know, pulling in strangers and making them know each other. It's always fun. Oh, hurrah. Okay, let's have a, a quick look at who's joined us in the live stream. We had Johnny G, who was in super early, trolling me, saying it must be a pretty technical build four weeks now. Stream needs more Star Wars. Well, you got your wish tonight. More Star Wars. Ooh. Hey, Dark Side. Yes. Kick the Powerful. Lego Rubik's Cube. A miniature Lego Rubik's Cube. If you're using that technique, you get a full square on all sides. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've done something similar to that, but in a bigger, bigger cube. Yeah, try doing it on a two by two. Yeah. All right, let, let, me, let me go through and see who else we got in the live chat before right. we get too carried away. Uh, Martin M's in, so I'm assuming Tassa is. Yes, there's Tassa Ped. Hello, Janko has joined us. Johnny G says, Misa like this. And hubby has too much face now. Lol. Too much face. <laughs> well, you know, you, you're just in shock. You'll be fine. It's not going to be forever, okay? I promise. Um, yeah, yeah, says, yeah, yeah. Kiwi, you're cute. I agree. Andrew Thornton, uh, the guy who I said earlier before we started, had commented and said, I always miss you guys when you're on. Uh, says, hey, I finally get to see a stream. Yes, we are here every tuesday night on the couch doing a live build and hanging out with a couple of friends and all you lovely people in the live chat and on friday nights we do the panel streams when we you know talk about lego and much less building but some building goes on and if her lovely friends can't make it she grabs me you are a lovely friend <laughs> and i'm the last resort <laughs> you're not the last resort i just haven't got around to inviting you to a tuesday night <laughs> well, I only have two others so that it's not too chatty. Poor Cherie, she can't even get away from being trolled on Tuesday nights now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. My uh, life is just, you know, being picked on. I'm used to it. Water off a duck's back. Okay. Face. Oh, my goodness gracious. Johnny G, you're naughty. I'm not repeating that. Well, now I've got to go and look at the chat. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to look now. Get your own screen. I don't know. I that. <laughs> Andrew says, awesome. We'll be tuning in from now on. Finished the Porsche build last week. Had to box two and three. Looks awesome now. It's built. Don't tell us that. Box two wasn't as bad as box one. Like, box one took forever. I'm on box three now. He's starting on box three now. Box two wasn't so bad, I guess. That looks a bit... Why are you forcing something? 
It's gotta go through it. Two sets of holes. You just need to wiggle it. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> you shouldn't have to force it. Just a little. Push, yeah. don't push, don't force. <laughs> I say I'm glad I'm not the one building the technical technique. Oh yeah. How, how much technique have you built before this? This is it. This, this is his first go at technique. Jump in the deep end, boys and girls. Yes, jump in the deep end. I mean, you used some technical, like technic bits in other builds, like when we did the mountain cave from Minecraft yeah, that's, that's over there that you can't see. That but that was nothing, nothing compared, to compared to this. This has got like gearing systems and all sorts of jazz. And I'm moving on from this. I'm going to put the Sharon on AY at Big W when it comes in, hopefully, the Christmas. Bye bye. News to me. I've only been mentioning it about six times. In one hour, out of the other. Yep. I'm saving for Melbourne. Don't know about you. I'm saving for Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is everyone still there? You all went quiet on me. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Oh. You sound a little quiet, Dan. Hey? You're a little tiny bit quiet. Talking just the same, man. I'm sure everyone else can hear you just fine. I'm just a deaf old lady. Us, the 15 year old. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll Is tell that, that true, Sean? Sure? Pardon? Oh, no, she's no, the 15 year old. Everyone's saying that you look so much younger. I figured she was talking about you. <laughs> Boom, boom. No, the, the real 15-year-old, not the pretend. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'd be concerned if you're 15. I, I, I think they have words for that. And I won't say out loud. Oh, where are we? Porsche was my first technique set as well. Nothing like jumping in head first. That's from Andrew. You know the word yeah. for that for guys is called lucky. <laughs> oh, Sean here. He, he, he only builds what he likes and he likes what he builds, but I think he might have, like, bitten off a little bit more than he could do with this one. Just, just uh, he's got this. Oh, he'd probably he'd probably be fine if he was just building it and not having to stream and you know communicate with people and could just you know get lost in it and do it and focus. Well, that's what you're here for, isn't it? Well, yeah, but he still you know feels the need to be you know interacting occasionally. Nah. Oh, speaking of interacting occasionally. Uh oh. We won't don't know just yet, but. I don't want to say a definite yes. You don't want to jinx it. Yeah, but this weekend, Mel is actually contemplating us coming down for the oh, social cool. party. It just depends on a couple of things. We've got a few bills that we've just got to make sure are taken care of first. Well, fair, fair enough. enough. Um, if all that's done, yes. And the only reason is because I've talked her into the fact that you're so much closer than going to Dreamworld. And by <laughs> coming down to the social meet, I can't possibly get to Dreamworld. <laughs> so I think I want her around in that fashion by like using that excuse. <laughs> but we'll see. Like I said, I don't want to put the jinx on it or anything. Yeah. So oh, it'll be cool if you can make it. We well, got luck meat on Dan. Trust me, you'll know before you'll know when I know. Okay, that's all good. Well, I'm pretty sure you need to know numbers, don't you? For whatever reasons. Ah oh, no. It doesn't really matter. There's nothing to have to RSVP for. I just like annoying people and making them do it. Oh, okay. I just thought usually there's a get together thing or whatever. Uh, Jeff's usually the one who freaks out about numbers. Yeah. I, I, I'm i just like, well, people will turn up. Yeah. Yeah. 
how far is it for you to travel to a uh, a lug meet there, dark side? Uh, to get down to Sheree, about three and a half, four hours. That's some commitment right there. It's quicker yeah. for you. It's quicker for you, to, for you to fly over and come to the same meeting. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And probably about as cheap too when you take the yeah. order. Yeah, I think they do direct flights to the sunny coast now too. Yeah, in New Zealand and uh, Jetstar actually. Oh, if Dan's coming, then I'm definitely coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't afford to pay for his flights. No pressure, Dan. No pressure, Dan. Yeah. Uh, Janko asked, "Do you guys watch Beyond the Brick? Is the Pope Catholic?" The answer is yes. Some to the brick. I'm there more than he is. It feels like it anyway. <laughs> beyond the brick, not between the bricks. No, beyond the brick. Oh, sorry, beyond. Beyond the brick. Um, right. Joshua Hanlon and uh, yeah. Co. Is it just me? Has their last few videos not been to the quality? Or they haven't videoed the quality they normally video? the quality of builds <coughs> maybe i'm just spoiled all of a sudden but it seems which video are you talking about some of them have been pretty lackluster no not their april fools one <laughs> i knew that was a joke but no i've just yeah i've just picked up on a couple of them haven't been as wow factor as what they've had in the past well that's well, like an equal opportunist, just like I suppose oh, yeah. it's down to who's available to actually talk to. And you can only film what's available. Exactly. Okay. I do realise that. Hang on. No, I, usually, I usually keep up with what they're doing on Facebook because I just uh, live on Facebook for stuff and reasons. Hey, if things that weren't the best didn't get videoed and put online, people would never see my stuff. So That is true. I can understand it. Um, let's see. What have they been doing lately? They showed Pirates of the Caribbean. That was pretty huge. Motorized Lego crane. That's pretty huge. I like the fact that they came out to um, Brickvention and showcased some of the uh, stuff from that show that's pretty awesome. I must admit I had worked on them but apparently other people had already uh, well I don't think they already had but I think they asked them after and I think being asked that many times they probably seriously considered it but um that uh, I went on their 24-hour live stream not last year but the year before and I said to them would you guys ever come to Australia and they're like oh we'd love to and I said well you should come over and see one of the shows over here. And they're like, oh, well, which one would you suggest? And I'm like thinking, well, I'm not going to be that person and suggest my own live show. I'm going to suggest the one that he's going to see the most variety of talent at, which was, you know, is Brickvention like it or not. That's, you know, the biggest show on the calendar. Uh, I told them, you know, this is the time of the year it is. You contact, you know, the the organisers, you know, you could probably, you know, do something really good with it. So they turn it into a holiday. I wish I'd realised that they were actually going. I might have been organised and gone to Brickvention this year. But never mind. Did Brickvention pay for them to come? I don't, I can't tell. I, I don't know. Um, it as they were people that did a uh, talk i would say maybe they did something to support them in some fashion yeah. an arrangement yeah just don't know all right and my opinion is is that they certainly should have oh yeah i know that they have supported other people from um overseas to come over that being special guests so um Absolutely. whether that whether that means actually paying, for, well, I don't think they would have like paid for their airfares or something like that, but they might have helped with their accommodations and stuff like that, maybe. Yeah. I, don't know. I yeah. can only guess. I'm all for it. And uh, I think, you know, for, for, the, for our lugs in this region to grow, you know, we need to be able to bring in people from overseas. And that 
all honesty, that's part of the reason why I started streaming on Twitch, to be able to show uh, other parts of the world what uh, New Zealanders are capable of. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's pretty much the reason why I started YouTube myself was to showcase, like, put videos up. And, like, I didn't like how um, Facebook did videos, so I thought, oh, I'll put them on YouTube um, and see how it goes. And yeah. Two years later. But it's good because, you know, like, like for you, it's getting the, the word out that, hey, we do do cool things in our country. We're not backwards completely. Yeah, well, I have to say, you, you are a huge part of the inspiration as to why I started streaming because it was just something on your show on those few occasions that gave me the confidence to be able to think, you know, to think, well, could I do this? Yeah, anybody can do this. If you if you can talk to a friend, you can talk to a camera. And it's a lot easier if you're, you know, in this situation where there's a panel and there's another person that, you know, you're looking at the camera and there's a person there, it's a lot easier to talk to your audience that way. But it's, it's, it's good to be able to, you know, connect with people um, not just around Australia but all around the world, you know. I have people who are in different time zones that may not watch me live or watch us live, but um, they, you know, connect in other ways by commenting or just watching. I don't mind. So long as people watch and, you know, if they don't like it, they can switch off and go somewhere else. That's fine. But, um you know try try and be entertaining and edu edutaining not necessarily boring educational yeah what i'm doing on the live chat that i've missed that's the hardest part being entertaining being constantly entertaining is difficult when you're on your own that's for sure yeah Oh, Janko says his his video was posted last week sometime. Oh, Janko's bills are awesome. Um, I ha honestly haven't haven't been keeping up with every single one of the videos because I was starting to get frustrated that they were staggering and putting videos from different shows up. Like, it's 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 frustrating because they do so many shows and they do so many videos that it takes them so long to produce and put out that I'm like you know they're still putting out the good stuff like the super really nice stuff from Brickvention um, that I would have expected to see a bit sooner than freaking March but you know or April. But that's only because you know when the show was. The, the yeah, 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 yeah. The average viewer who has no idea what book mention is, no. um, they're probably like, oh, yeah, that's cool, because um, I think I saw on their Facebook they promoted the glass, uh, the stained glass Dalek that um, yep. a very lovely builder called Tamara Dadswell did. She's from Canberra. I love her. She's Tamara. in a... Tamara. 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 Oh, I did it again. Oh, I did it with the first take that I did. Um, but she loves you. Yeah, she does love <laughs> She She had to stop me. Like, you know, but she loves sorry, you. I'm sorry, but it's Tamara. I'm like, oh, fudge. It's spelled exactly the same it's as Tamara. It's spelled Tamara, but it's Tamara. It's pronounced Tamara. And, yeah, so Tamara, Tamara does. <gasps> I can't believe I did that. I did that live. I can't take that back and edit that. Um, but yeah, we had to do a second take when I um, saw her at Brisbane's Chandler last year and she had her stuff that she toured around with. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think she'll, I think she does alternating years for coming north. So sadly, I won't get to see the stained glass Dalek. Sad. Did you say stained glass Dalek? Stained yeah. glass Dalek, yeah. If you go and have a look at Beyond the Bricks Facebook page, they posted it yesterday, I think. Yep. I saw the um, announcement for it on Facebook yesterday. Yeah. Uh, she is such a lovely and talented builder. Like, uh, you wouldn't meet a nicer person. Like, seriously, she is such a lovely person and she is such a talented builder. Like, the stuff that she just... You know, like she plans and makes, but 
I wish I had that kind of talent to do things. Like I feel like a six-year-old putting together a rainbow warrior build compared to her. <laughs> but don't we all want to do these awesome things? It's like I can't do that, but you know what? You build anyway, boys and girls. Build anyway. Or practice. Yes. Some of it, some people are better at building the small things though. Oh, and some people are, are more technical builders, like. Especially when your own wife says to you, you're great at building terrain, Phil, but don't build buildings. It's like, okay, work on. <laughs> That's mean. Only, yeah, but only your wife can be that, that honest with you too. So. Yeah, true. It, it could be mean, but it might be accurate. Oh, it's accurate. I have <laughs> full faith in whatever she tells me. Oh, yeah. I think it might be wrong yet. I think my biggest problem and the problem that a lot of people have is the the lack of a variety of bricks to build something. Because I'm a physical builder and I'm not very good at doing digital builds, which is really weird because with just about everything else I can do digital, no problem. But because this is a 3D model thing and, you know, you've got to manipulate it in certain ways and I just, I can't do it. I get, I get seasick trying to build in LDD. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't build an LDD because um, I get motion sickness from moving the parts around. Go figure. Yeah, there's still a lot more on the ground. I know. <laughs> Somebody has to get under the table. Can you see, or do you need a light? Because I'm building. I'm um, not watching the screen, so I've got the the. Um, the actual stream up on the YouTube um, screen. So yeah. I, heard, I heard that crash and then looked up just then and saw it happen. <laughs> That's funny. I just checked out that stained glass Dalek. It is awesome. Hey. My God. How do you come <laughs> up with ideas like that? It's not just a technical build either. Like, I mean, it's a bit fragile and she admits that, but it's not just a technical build, but it's also lit. It's art. It's art, yeah. Yeah, it is. But it is it is based on an artwork? Like, um, yeah, I, I use Stud I O as well, Jenko. I much prefer that over LDD. Yeah, I, I haven't tried Stud I O yet. Or studio, or however you like to say the name. I should probably try, but you know, um, very we, similar to we share a, a computer and the laptop goes to school with the child. So, um, usually I'm doing all my internet -y stuff on my iPad. So, yeah, you can't do that on the iPad, unfortunately. Oh, Johnny G says, no, Mick, and I hope he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. Probably stuck working. He's probably working. It happens. Um, nobody's mentioned Bilza being missing, though. Bilza is off with the kids watching movies at the drive-in. Family time. Family time. But yeah, I, I I like the challenge of trying to work with what what we have on hand and and trying not to order too much extra stuff because that gets expensive and you know budgetary constraints too. Like it, I would be very sad if I designed something on LDD or Start IO and then couldn't see like see it through to the light of day. It's just I don't know. It's just not the way I build. Like, I'd rather just create, like, an art piece, create. But, you know, if I if, if I had access to a build room like what I've seen on the Le Lego Masters ads, I'd be sweet. I think we all would be. <laughs> yeah, I'll never build to that quality. Uh, I, th I, th I think that is a thing that holds some people back who aren't you know that technically minded in the way that you know they, they'll render stuff on the computers i don't know what you just did then but you wiped me out must have got more black in front of you must have oh yeah yeah there's a lot of black pieces in front it's slowly of you. becoming more orange 
Yeah, it needs to be a lot more orange. Working on it. Orange is my aesthetic. Um, Jenka says, yeah, I'm working on a survey at the moment. Hopefully it'll be done by next year. Well, the windmill doesn't have any designs. Designs. What, well, as in design in LDD or design as in design features? I think it's technically awesome. I'm not very good at moving things. I'm not very good at building things to plans either. I guess that's the other reason why I don't do LDD because then I'd have to build it from the LDD plans and that would be like building a set. If you built it in LDD, you'd have an idea of how it went. Yeah, but it'd be like building a set, a set that I designed myself. Build it too. I'm not really... Uh, used LDD or stud IO for the same reasons, not because I get seasick, but because I can't, uh, I don't like the manipulation of moving it around in the 3D plane. Yeah, I have some I can't serious problems with the 3D plane thing. Yeah, I just I can't visualize it, you know, yeah. head off to the people that uh that do it and do it well because. Yeah. P is awesome in like digital design programs, no problem whatsoever. But I try and do the same thing. Yeah, well, it's a skill, and it takes a yes. It takes a clever mind to be able to see that in that three-dimensional plane. Yeah, and you just got to have the 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 um what's the word patience. I don't have the patience for it. I'm getting too old for being patient for learning new things like that. Uh, I admit it. I'm getting middle aged. Um, right. Tassa says Martin likes throwing bricks together and seeing what sticks sticks when building. Yeah, that, that's more my kind of building mods. Oh, my little brother is uh, like a troll into the live g'day all, he says. You're late. I'll just leave that there. You're late. As you know from your mother. <gasps> oh, you're mean. What? Teachers always ask. You're late. Where's your note from your mother? Yeah, true. True. But Dan, have you got more shows this year? More shows? Mm. Uh, yeah, I do. We, I've got a heap more coming up, actually. Uh, <clears throat> the next one for me is in Vicargo at the end of this month. Uh, it'll take me three days to get down there and then three days there and then three days home again. Jeez, three days? Because he's driving. Yeah, it's a, a drive, got to get across to Cook Strait, and then it's probably on the other side, it would be, let me look how many kilometres it is. Yeah, oh. well, where is the show? Invercargill. <laughs> In where? Invercargill. Invercargill. Yeah. It sounds like a name like I should be somewhat familiar of. Way down the deep south. Way down south south. Yeah, 895 kilometres from Picton. Uh, and then before Picton, you have a three-and-a-half-hour boat ride from Wellington to Picton. So you actually got to change islands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm starting to understand how it takes yeah. you three days to travel 800 kilometres. Yeah. Well, we can do it sort of in about a day. Yeah, like, well, okay. and New Zealand roads are not yeah, no, straight. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> New Zealand roads, they wind around the terrain. Yeah, I've got to go. I'm going up to, so on, on, on Tuesday afternoon, or on the Tuesday afternoon, I'll be going across on the ferry, which is a three-and-a-half-hour boat ride. Uh, I'll go to Nelson. I'll stay in Nelson for the night. I'll pick up one of my friends in Nelson who's coming down to the show. And uh, on Wednesday, we'll travel halfway, and then Thursday, we'll travel the rest of the way. 
Oh, cool. I'm kind of thinking, how, how far away is 800 kilometers from here? From now, Buddy's word, 74 kilometer trip. 12, 13 in Mackay? Yeah, it's probably a bit like, like driving from here to Mackay. Which we can do in a day. Which we can do in a day. Yep. We could do it in a day. It's a 13 hour drive, but I don't want to. Yeah, that's all oh, fair. For us, it only be about a nine to travel. Oh, but yeah, you got that. Nice. Yeah, Jenko just sent me a picture of oh, what cool. he's working on. But yeah. you've got that whole jumping from one landmass to another, so that's going to chew up time. And yeah. You've got to wait for the ferry and be there at the right times. This and... is what Jenko is working on. Bowser. Looks neat. Well, these days, mate, Janko, you've got to got to come and join us on on one of our stream nights. I think it'd be you'd be cool to have as a guest, even if it was a one-off. Be uh, very interesting to have a chatty chat chat. Are we making headway? Yeah, starting on the orange on the other side. It's like don't bust me around. I'm getting there. Yeah. So that's the first of our shows, really. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have our convention in June. Oh, okay. Probably, so which, what, what, where's your convention? Uh, it's in Palmerston North this year. So it's run by my luck, but it's uh, our Palmerston North branch is looking after it this year. Okay. Which, that's only about a two-hour drive from me, so that's not bad. Christchurch in July, probably. Uh, yeah, it's pretty busy this year, actually. Oh, I think I just put my foot on something. <gasps> busy year. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. And I, I do hope to be live streaming from all of the shows as well. Cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, just, just keep reminding me when things are on, and I'll, I'll look. Keep an eye out on those days. I'm a shocker for forgetting things, aren't I? It's that middle age. I'm, I'm getting old and deaf and crotchety. And forgetful. There must be my reason to me. Because oh. I think I'm older than you. Dark, hey? Dark side screwed. Jeez. <laughs> what, what have I done? <laughs> no, exactly. What? 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 Huh? What? <laughs> well, I think you're the same vintage. Well, what month are you born in? Uh, January. Are oh, you older than me? You're all younguns. <laughs> young ones. For you, everybody's young. Sheree, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just shared my screen, if I can get it to come up. Ooh. Even you haven't seen this yet. Ooh. That's the train station for my second train table. That looks huge. It's on three forty-eight by forty-eight base plates. Flipping nice. huge. It's an exact. Making it any smaller. It's an exact replica of the of the Bombardier train station in New South Wales, where my dad used to work. Sweet. So you've got the two toilet locks that have the barred doors, so that when they close them at night. And this end has a police station. A police station? It does. It, in real life, it does. Go look it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I wasn't, diz I wasn't dizzing you, Philip. I was just like, what? Police station? You, mate. You, mate. So, yeah, you know where I'm getting the parts from for that. So that that's going to get built next year sometime. Oh, cool. And that'll be pride of place on my second table, which will actually be the... the the actual train station and um, storage yards for 
well, at the moment, five trains. So five trains. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be five trains by the time you build it. You you know that, right? Oh yeah, no, I'm fully aware of it. Unfortunately. What is this thing keep turning off the camera? It's annoying. Oh, right, no. Anyway, that's where I'm up to with um Yoda's Starfighter at the moment, if I can put it on the camera. Cool. It's got a roof and it's got a door. Now I just gotta do the wings. Which is what I'm up to. Nice. Well, so, yeah. something totally different that wasn't even uh, Star Wars or Shanghai. Shanghai? What? No, I said I I went with totally something totally different that wasn't Star Wars or Shanghai. Oh, what are you building? What are you building? Shima! Nice, mate! Got a bag here. Um, just checking to see whether it's a complete set or not, really. Aye. It looks to be complete, but... Uh, That's what first st um, stopped my store was a bunch of Shima stuff. <laughs> well, first load of stock came from. Oh, we've had a few um, more people pop up in the live chat while I was looking on the other screen. M Lego, M Lego 17 says, hello, it's 6 in the morning for me. I just woke up for school. Oh, my God, it's a spawn sighting. Yeah, we've also got Warren G and Adam Spong has slid into the live chat. Uh, Jenko says, ha, 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 I'll need a webcam. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to have a webcam. If you get the Hangouts app, you can actually do it from your phone. Like that. Yep, yep, yep. What Peebles uses? Yeah, that's what Mr. Peebles uses his phone. Um, it's how I, I think I use my iPad to begin with. When I started streaming out here and I was on other people's streams, sometimes I still occasionally go on the iPad. Not as nice as going through a webcam, but honestly, people aren't looking at how pretty you look. Well, maybe with Sean, but. <laughs> such a pretty boy, isn't he? <laughs> Look at that face. I, I didn't say nothing bad. Normal time. Oh, that's right. All, all you people that are in the southern states that are on pretend time, you're back on normal time now. Sweet. Yeah, us too. Yeah, true. You, you've got to go through the whole process too, don't you? Yeah. So daylight savings ended on sun, uh, Sunday morning for us. Yeah, I think it was about the same for the, the other peeps. Mm, you know, those people on pretend time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Dan, have you have you heard about all the um, vegan activists causing dramas over here of all the farmers? Uh, yeah. Oh, You'd love it. Some of them um, stormed an abattoir in the early, early morning, uh, early hours of the morning and demanded that three sheep, like lambs, be um, released and that then they would leave. So what? release them? No, no, oh, no. Release, release to the vegan activists. I heard that they were actually released. No, no, no. The, the, I saw a video of them... Um, that the vegan activists actually have the three lambs. Uh, I would have released the hounds. That's what I would have done. <laughs> like, no, vegans, I have no problems if you decide that you, know, you need to be a vegan for whatever reason, whether it be, you know, um, you can't eat meat, 
You can't eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to eat meat. We don't want to eat meat. That's fine. But when you start, you know, um, messing my, with my food my, chain, mm -mm -mm. my wife's a vegan, and she even she's discussing how they were acting. Well, yeah. his his mum's a vegetarian, and like seriously, if I was a vegetarian or a vegan, I would be disgusted. Yep. Because like there are ways to protest and show a bit of respect. That, um. You know, it's it's a little bit much when you you know you're trespassing. It's so bad that the government went and changed the laws for trespassing because of the vegans. Well, these vegans, not all vegans. I've met some very lovely vegans. To be honest, it's the same as any extreme uh, side of any group ever. You know, it's yep. It's it's cultish any, behavior, for the want of a better word. Mm -hmm. It's cultish behaviour, like a cult. Uh, it's cultish behaviour, but in all honesty, um, I feel that most people that are that far right from whatever the group it is that they're in are literally just doing it for their own want and, and ceremony, you know? Mm. All their little five minutes in the limelight, and they don't really care. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm special. It's, it's like people who do volunteer work to make themselves feel better. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like Lego. <laughs> oh, we're getting political with Lego. I'm sorry. But I, I had to. I just had to share that the funniest video that I saw in relation to the vegan activists was one farmer took out his tractor with his um, um, cow poo fertiliser that sprays it on, like, the grass. Yeah. And circled around the vegans that sure. wouldn't leave his property. He's like, Well, it's time to manure the grass, boys and girls. We circled them around a couple of times. He didn't assault them by spraying them, but he just made it very difficult and smelly. Oh, I would have sprayed them. Yeah, Spray. would have sprayed them. With water. <laughs> Problem is, is that those people probably would have sued. <laughs> That's your issue. It's all, it's all grass fertilizer. It's good stuff. Yeah. Hey, we're, he, the farmer was just giving them back his animal products. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's all, 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 um, all. There you go. Have a bet. <laughs> all environmentally friendly. But anyway. I, I, I just had to mention that because it involved its sheep and we know the, the Kiwis love their sheep. I'm half Kiwi, so I love sheep. Just not in that way. Yeah, I love them. I love eating them. I love eating sheep, yes. They taste sheep great. Very lovely. Nothing like a good leg of lamb. Mm. Roast lamb. Roast taties. Yum, yum. Potatoes. And husband goes... I haven't cooked a roast lamb in a long time. Might be time to do it again. I want to get tabies. As long as we don't have time, like pretty much Monday night, every second Monday is expensive. Yeah, the problem is that uh, you, you work a lot and then I stream on certain nights at your home and yeah, it doesn't leave a lot of time for cooking a nice roast. I got my son's birthday next um, Easter weekend. He turns 26, and the one and only thing he wants for his birthday is the one and only thing that we've told him he's getting anyway, and that's his roast leg of lamb that he gets every year. <laughs> he's like, I don't care what you get me. I just want my roast lamb, baby. Yeah, we said to him. That's exactly what we said to him. He's like, what do you want? He goes, I just want my roast leg of lamb. So we've organised for his brother to come up from Brisbane and spend the day with us as well. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It wasn't too hard to organise. Pretty much the two boys will drop anything for each other. So. Yeah. It's like, yeah, roast mums. All right, be there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much that's all it boiled down to when I emailed my son, my youngest. He goes, yep, I'll be there. Had me at roast like a lamb. It's like, oh, yeah, and Brian's birthday. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, what a load of crap. He was only coming for one thing. 
And the pleasure of sh seeing your father. No, that never came into it. <laughs> no, of course not. No, it's always my mum's roast. Son, son, so I come back for very few things. Mum, can you wash my clothes? Mum, are you doing a roast? No, no mine are pretty self-reliant in that respect. I'm just saying in general, Philip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too sure if ours is ever actually going to leave. Yeah. He doesn't, I don't need to teach him to cook more things. He's a bit, he's a bit you know, standoffish when it comes to, like, you know, the stove and the... Yeah, he's not too bad with the oven now. Gotten pretty good with the oven. I should teach him how to do a roast. And go, there you go, son. You, you go make a roast for mummy. Thank you. Don't burn. Uh, I've been watching my wife cook roasts for every birthday and every Christmas for 30 years, and there's no way in hell I'm ever going to try and outdo her. <laughs> it is a lot of effort. But it's worth it in the end. It's it's skills. I'm, I'm impressed that your wife who doesn't eat meat does does a roast for the family. That that's respect. Yep. Big time. That's and then it. she goes and buys herself a veg a vegan vegetarian roast or whatever it is, a little weird little thing that it is. But they actually don't taste terrible. I, I've had some very lovely vegan meals. I think I actually went to a vegetarian restaurant one time. Oh, they're vegetarian? I love nut meat. Oh, Jesus. Like oh, the vegetarian version of Spam. Just take it out of a can. <laughs> take it out of a can and off we go, yeah. I love the stuff. So I have a, a somewhat vegan slash vegetarian and normal But, you know, no. I have to state this: not all vegans are radical vegans. It's only a small right. amount. It's like the terrorists. Mm -hmm. it's the There's only a small minority that you know fudge well, it up for everyone else. Problems. Yeah. Um. You know, I, I get what message they're trying to portray, but they're going about it the wrong way. Because from what I can gather, all they've done is they've whipped up the meat eaters, and the meat eaters are just gone. I like my bacon. I like my pork. Come on, little piggy, get on my fork. Pretty much. <laughs> Have you not heard that one before? <laughs> oh, it's cold. Uh, I I've heard something very similar. <laughs> no, I have not heard that one before. It must be an Aussie thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, so good. I've heard the one that it's more referred to armed police officers. Ah, uh, see that, that that's obviously universal. Yeah. Yeah, that is universal. Oh yeah, that that part, but the the saying I've heard, I've only ever heard it here in Australia. <laughs> Uh, so I heard a rumor yesterday. Are you interested in hearing rumors? Do we talk about rumors on this channel? You can talk about rumors. That's fine. I'm not an RFLM, so I don't have to follow those rules. But rumors are fine. Just images that are <clears throat> watermarked, as you know. Um, no, no, we don't share those. No, I wouldn't share that either. But you can talk in general rumors. Yes. In general rumors, and, and I don't even know if. I'm, I'm probably a bit late to the party. Who knows? Yeah. Heard that the big technic set for the end of the year is going to be a car transporter truck. Ooh. I hadn't yeah. heard that one. Yeah, to go um, to specifically go with the Mack truck, apparently. Uh, of somewhere of similar scale to go yeah. with the new scale technic cars that they've uh, just released. Mm. Oh, jeez, that'd be a huge trailer. Holy crap. What an heck. So, be interesting to see whether that comes to uh, fruition or not. 
Yes, because we know that rumours sometimes have to be taken with a little grain of salt because some of them turn out to be false rumours. Absolutely. But in saying that, uh, the, pe the person that I get my information from is probably more in the know than most. Ah, uh, you have a reliable source. Very reliable. A saucy yeah. source. I have a tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is yummy, particularly if it's homemade and it's made by his dad. But not a reliable source. Not a reliable source. Just a very yummy sauce. It goes really good with snags. That's the one. Passa says Martin's going to love that if, it, if indeed it is true. The funny thing is that there's like the guy that tells me, um, I don't think even here, half the time, it's not news to him, you see. It's just, oh, yeah, okay, cool. It's just the next round of stuff that he has to, uh, to order. Mm. So it's not news to him, you know? Yeah. I've got way too many extra pieces here. What have I done wrong? Well, it's like if, if anyone has ever seen a retail's order book, you've seen how cryptic some of the, um, the yeah. things can be. Some of them are. Some of them are very cryptic. Mm -hmm. And others are just plain out black and white. <laughs> mm. I guess it depends on whether there's um, embargoes. Sometimes there's like no pictures, it's all blacked out. It's like it's something that's like this. No, you get is the name of the thing. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even get the name. It, it it's just uh, set X something something and the theme, and that's it. You should yeah. see some of the cool um, names Toy World gets for their sets when they get them when they get pre-release info. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, they get some real weird names. Now, now, don't be don't be dropping names. You'll get them in trouble. Oh no, no, no! I'd never do that. Ah, uh, Lego 17 says, I don't like tomatoes in general. Go for you. He hates tomatoes. He doesn't mind tomato yeah. sauce, but not so much. Texture. That's... Yeah, he doesn't like seeds. I don't like strawberries, little seeds. Loves the taste, though. Um, Matt says, hi, all. I'm building the 20th anniversary slave one that arrived today from Target sale. Nice. It's a nice set that I built that a couple of weeks ago. Mine's sitting behind me. I'm umming and ahhing whether I want to open it or not. Enjoy that build. Yeah, it's not a build you want to rush. But, oh, that's a nice one, Matt. Being a 20th yeah. anniversary thing, I'm wondering if I should keep them all sealed and just bought, wait and save the money out for the UCS one. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I guess it depends on, on, on why you want to keep it. Just because it's a twentieth anniversary. Mm. It's special. Mm. Then again, UCS stuff special too. So yes, in that game, we're getting open. Oh, I have, speaking of rumors, I heard a rumor <laughs> that Dreamworld is doing something on Easter weekend. Lego related. And that's all I'm going to say. Tell us more. I can't. Yeah, it's no. just... <laughs> I know what it is, and I can't say either. No, no, yeah, no. I know. It is so frustrating. Well, I don't know what it is, and I don't care because it's not anywhere where I live. Oh, <laughs> it's like I don't know where it's so it's not there. I know, right? The mob who opened Bondi They're has rights to open once in New Zealand. We're gonna get a Lego store. Oh, it's not gonna be any better than our stores, though. Believe it when I see it. Ah, oh, well, they got the rights to it. They'd be mad not to. Yeah, but whether we'll get a pick a brick, you know, we'll see. We will see. Oh, it's open a store. All the local retailers will be like, damn, 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 damn. 
At least I found where those extra parts are from. That's good. Well, yes and no. Mm. But I am hoping that I'll be able to tell everybody what's going on by Friday. I sound what? like a broken record, don't I? Why are you saying that? Yes, watch this space. Am I allowed to um, assume and make assumptions and say what I think my assumption would be? Yeah, you can. It's got to be obvious, right? It's got to have something to do with Lego Masters show, surely? No. Okay. No, it doesn't. In right. fact, if this was more organised, they might have been able to do something with Lego Masters, but you know. But meh, 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 it's not affiliated with Lego Masters. Be cool though if it was. Mm. Seen the, um, it's not okay. It's not like I'm on a, under an NDA. It's just that I don't want to give out wrong information, basically. Yeah, you've got to wait till it's all cemented. Yeah, Dream, Dream World will be um, advertising it as soon as they can, but um, certain people that are not aligned with my friendship group are involved in holding things back. And that's all I'll say on that matter. But it's just up to my leg. Like, we'd be organised like two weeks ago. Kind of we were <laughs> organised. We are two weeks organised. There's a surprise. The other people, no. I put things on the right around. Um, my brother asks, who has seen the new Lego Masters promo? Yes. No. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's very similar to the first one, only it's longer and has some different cut in bits. I would play it, but I don't particularly want to get copyright pinged from Channel 9. Oh, go on. <laughs> and I think I've seen two different ads, and if I've only got two ads, then I've seen it. No, there's three. There's three, three ads. I, I, I can probably get away with holding it up to the screen with no sound. Well, if it's an if it's an advert, surely it's free to air, isn't it? No, no. Um, copyright is a that would make too much sense, I'm guessing. Uh, I guess because of you know the amount of like interaction I've had with their production team, I'd feel weird like sharing anything like that without getting permission from Channel Nine. Because like I've dealt with um, Animal Shine, which is the production company, but I haven't dealt with Channel Nine. I'm sure there's something that's been shown on television. It's Here we go. I don't know how good that's going to go with the frame rate. Hang on. Ah, bugger it. Let's try this again. Oh my God. It's the second time I've shot myself in the face with it. <laughs> this time I've bounced off my cheek. You're watching, Dan. Oh, I've seen that one. You've seen this one? I'm too long on that. I have to be. Oh, well, Bill Zinnily trips over the bike. <laughs> Rear ends get orange. It's a little bit exciting. Yeah, this one's a bit longer. Pretty sure Philip's seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. There's the explosion. If they're going to give you a vehicle with a guy with a lightsaber, let me put the lightsaber somewhere. <laughs> 
Let me store the lightsaber on the vehicle somewhere, anywhere. There you go, excitement. You wonder. Wonder, excitement. I really do need severe mental help. I just saw that Lego Masters, and I swear I saw Jedi Masters. Jedi Masters? Wow. <laughs> There really is something not wired up correctly up here, I can tell you. That would make for an interesting reality show. People getting trained and... Adam was saying there's been four ads, but one was pulled. Oh, is that the one with the grandma and the grandson and they're talking about potty training? Oh, I finished Jodas stuff, I'd have... Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, I think I only pulled it off TV. I think it still exists on the internet. Oh, it, it, once it's on the internet, it'll it's always exist on the internet. Folding wings. Yes. So, so for anyone who hasn't gotten the memo, it, you may have seen Bulesy occasionally over the couple of years that I've been live streaming. Um, he does come on occasionally. He's very boisterous, very entertaining. He's one of the competitors on uh, Lego Masters. He was paired with a guy called Kale from Melbourne. Um, there's another, at least one other um, pair up of affoles from different parts of the country. So there's um, Cade, Cade, Cade from Brisbane and Henry from Sydney. Um, my money's on them winning, perhaps. I know they're both very talented builders. And of course, I, want, I want, wanted Bilzy to win, but you know. You, you, you bet on the people that you think will win, not, the, not your friend. <laughs> I wanted him to win, but I don't think he did. Yeah. Oh, it's gone off the internet, too. Well, I saw it, Adam. I saw it before it went off yeah, the internet. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I watched it and was like, what? They seriously put that? Like, I wouldn't have even talked about that, let alone put it on an ad. I guess someone lost their job. Mm, I'm guessing too. Or they got severely reprimanded. Like, what were you thinking? Probably that they won't. Hmm. Uh, if it was pulled off the ad, obviously somebody must have complained about it. Mm. What was so bad about it? <clears throat> there were, um, uh, there's a grandmother and son team, and they were talking about how they used uh, a um, Lego set for potty training. Yeah, it was like a, um, a, reward. a reward system. So every time he went potty, he got small parts to the set. I think it's a brilliant idea, but um, when when the grandson was grown up, maybe yeah, sort of like early twenties. Yeah, not not really what I would consider an appropriate thing to talk about on national television. But anyway, not my place to judge. I think it's a brilliant idea, though. But did the parents ask his permission? For him to go to the, want to go to the potty. Yeah. Because you've got to ask permission before you can even put a oh, potty on now. Yeah. Eh? You've got to ask permission yeah. before you uh, actually can, you know, conceive a child now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Janko's making progress. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Hang on, let's see. Can you see? Can you see? It's working on the servo. There it is. I'm good, Janko. Uh, pick my next build. Pick a number between 1 and 14. 7. Seven. I was about to say 3.14. Three. That's yeah. about as far as I know. Four. You mean five. Five. 7. Okay, I'm going to build the first order battle pack. Little cruddy build, but nice and quick. 
Oh, that's the other thing. Speaking of Lego Masters, apparently they're having a um a launch thing um the you know, a media day at Bondi Lego store tomorrow. Which is fine. We live in Sydney area. I think Hamish is going to be there, and I think Ryan. Yeah, Ryan from North, the Brick Man. Well, they just call him the they just call him Brick Man. Okay, so I'll do set uh, whatever book number 11 is next, Martin. So, you know, these are any battle facts, they won't take too long. So what's uh, what's next on your guys' show agenda? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than the awkward silence. The, the the thing that I'm not allowed to talk about is the next thing. <laughs> but the next thing we're allowed to talk about is Gladstone in July. Yes. Where I'll be displaying for the first time my train table. Oh, if it's finished by then, no, it will be. It better be. I was about to say, it better be finished. Well, I did get. <laughs> I actually got my one of my contacts. Thank you, Bilza, to um <laughs> to get me a um, cup of grass stems and send it up to me. So of course I had to message him, let him know that they turned up today. So I made the message as suspect as possible. So if the Australian police are bored and looking for a um, looking for a chat to follow, <laughs> I made it sound like he sent me dope, <laughs> <laughs> which is okay because he replied back and says, "No worries, no worries." And um, just so you know, the grass is smooth, man. It's like, oh, dude. <laughs> So, yeah, we've made some federal cops day to day. <laughs> They're sitting there reading that. So, yeah, I've got hopefully this um, cup of grass stems. It better be enough to finish all the grassing on the table, which I should be doing tonight, but I've got to have my back to the camera to do it, which is a shame. So, it'll be something I'll do and just post pictures of it later. Kind of like we today about a yeah, was saying not easier Lego shop at home, which has been stopped by customs waiting for duty. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Said I had a I got contacted by a lug member who has had an order that was purchased from Lego shop at home, stopped at the border, mm. uh, supposedly being needed to pay for duty. Oh, wow. No, no that's not right. Ah, how, no. how much was his order, though? $500. No, that's not right. doesn't matter whether it was 500 or 5000 The GDT component is already paid. Yeah. It's invoice. All he, all he needs to do is contact them with his um, receipt showing that the GST has been paid. Yeah. Uh, we had that problem for a while here in Australia. It seems to have righted itself now because, you know, stuff comes from Sydney. Um, yeah, the the now. Mm. yeah, the issue is, is that she's been trying to contact them, but uh, as yet, 
uh, unable to contact the correct people. So. Oh, okay. You know, interesting. Um, I know that in Australia it's Dai Post, D A I Post, that you contact. I don't know about New Zealand. Well, it used to be DHL, but it looks like now it's just New Zealand Post. Yeah, um, may maybe, I don't know. Can she just bring, like, is there any contact for um, uh, customs to, to ask who you have to contact? Oh, uh, well, that's, that's what, what she was trying to work through today, so. Okay. It's going to keep me in the loop. I, I think Lego changed from DHL to Die Post, like, after they had all the dramas with DHL. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know whether they should use the same with New, Ze New Zealand, but might be worth looking into. Well, best of, best of luck for it. Jeez. Yeah, that sucks. It shouldn't be held up like that. That's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keen to figure out, you know, follow up on the story and find out what's happened. Mm. Yeah, that sucks. I know we had something held up, but it eventually just released itself anyway. I can't remember what it was. I have no idea. I know I've had one package. Oh, it might have been, was it the Aston Martin? No, you bought that at Dreamworld, didn't you? Yeah, I bought that at Dreamworld. It was something, something bigger that you bought. I can't remember. Oh, we had something held up, but, like, by that point, the issues had sort of started writing themselves a little bit and that the hold up was only a short amount of time, not a big O duties amount of time. We used to get a lot of leg stuff held up. Mm, but yeah. that was, uh, you know, that was because it was always sent from Billund and there was no co no cost. So there was no yeah. GST. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that that sends up, sends up red flags. I've had one package get held up by customs, opened by customs. I ordered some um, round one by one plates. <laughs> that happened to me too. That's funny. I originally ordered them in a Bricklink order and. The guy had sent me the wrong colour, so he just sent me out the replacements. By themselves. By themselves. In a package. So you yeah. can, that would look like going through a um, scanner. It's like, whoops, those little tablet-shaped things. In a baggie, by themselves. Yeah, that's not suspect in the least. Seems legit. Oh. Oh, there are shorter ones. Uh. Did you miss Slowly looking more and more like a cat now. Dan? Yeah. This is the moment, time when you should be working on your Mack truck where no one can one-arm you. Oh, I've given up on the Mack truck. Oh, okay. For now. I'm going to have to um, pull it apart start of the game because something seems to be fundamentally wrong. Uh, because the, the panel, the side panels for the actual cap don't fit. Oh, okay.
technically, if I'm building that on Mock Mod Monday, I shouldn't be one armed anyway. Shouldn't be, but. <laughs> Might be time to spend some of them points. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do it to you. You would have just got 500 as well for, for subbing. Oh, look out. No, I couldn't do it to you. I know how much I dislike um, technique and I've seen what it's doing to you, so I couldn't do it. And I've seen what it's doing to Sean, so I just couldn't do that to someone. <laughs> on Dan's stream you can actually spend studs to make him build with one arm you can choose which arm yeah i know and he's been, yeah been working on the mac truck so everyone keeps one arming him you can also <laughs> make him dab dabbing is fun yeah dab's okay but making someone do one arm left-handed building <laughs> when they're not a lefty that's just nasty that is nasty uh, I just need to interrupt for a second and say, hi, Ambie's Bricks. Hi, hey, Ambie's Bricks. There's, wow, the, that car is huge. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes. Even as somebody who's seen one built, like, it's different when you're building it yourself yeah, and, and you actually see it to come to build. It's like, oh, my God, it's huge. Oh, my God. Way bigger than I imagined it. It won't be big considering how expensive it was. Hmm. Let's figure out where this piece goes. Oh, because I am, idiot. Your boo boo didn't and missed a step. Yeah. Thankfully, it was just the pre step. Genius. I'm more genius. On a crappy little battle pack set, they actually give you a spot for your mini figs weapon to be set. But on Yoda's Starfighter, did they give you anywhere to be able to store a lightsaber? No. Priorities, people. Priorities. Jeez. Okay, Martin, let's see what book number 11 was. Well, see what it is now. Oh, come on. Get in the hole. Two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, and ten. Well, it would be this one. All right, that's the next one I'm building. A little snow speeder. Lens glittery thingy. Got it in the hole. Those shield pieces are cool. Yeah, they are. They're cool little piece. Very nice looking little piece. Okay, okay 75, I'm just going to keep building them until the stream ends. I've got bigger sets for other streams. Four of them, anyway. Sorry, <laughs> oh, talk. You've been too quiet. I mean, too quiet and making you have to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't talk this much. Oh, actually, I do on Tuesday streams. You do. Okay, fine. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> My trick. That's his trick. He's taking it. Talk, 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 talk. Yep. I came up with a really good topic on Friday night, so I'm kind of, yeah. I'm mentally exhausted now. Oh, no, you used up all, all your good talky talk talk on Friday night by suggesting a good topic. Oh, I did. It was a good enough topic that I had a few, couple of people a bit put, a, put back on having to think about it. 
not your atypical topic. What was it? I asked if um, people thought Lego had um, lost sight of AFOLs and children. Because children. <laughs> um, what they want. Yeah, or what, yeah, what AFOLs and what children actually want from Lego. Because kids don't want to, unless they're kids of AFOLs, this is my personal view, unless they're a kid of an AFOL, they don't want to just sit around and play with little bricks. They want lights flashing and sounds and video games and blah, 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 blah. So that's, that was where I was coming from as far as that was concerned. Yeah. And I think Lego have, have kind of lost their way in that respect. Well, it's a hard one for Lego to keep up with because kids change their minds like days of the week, you know? Yeah, exactly. Even video games, one minute it's the, you know, the new hottest game, the next minute it's dead and buried. So everyone must struggle to keep up with kids in their forever changing trend. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't having a uh, as a didn't bring it up as a slight on Lego in any way. Just an interesting conversational piece. That's all. Oh no, no, no I'm not getting at you either. Just uh, but you're never going to get a true feedback unless you ask a kid of a non A foal or a non A foal about their about their kids' Lego practices. And fortunately, being in the situation that we're in with streaming and whatnot. We're only ever going to stream to A folds or to kids of A folds, A folds, whatever. So we're never actually going to find out from the other side of the fence. Does that make sense? Yeah, it'd be great to get K folds watching and, and engaging. Yeah, that'd be all. Awesome. Occasionally get T folds. Yeah, Shrew's had a few T folds watch in the past. Yeah, yeah. a couple there tonight. But T-Foles are more shy than I am, which is scary. <laughs> that anyone could be that shy. Oh, sure, I should crack into box four tonight. I don't have a lot left of box three. Well, I hope you do, because I've built two sets too many. Tonight. That's no good. So I'll be building another one after this. If I keep going on the rate I'm going at. <laughs> yeah, they need building anyway. I, I want to get them all back into back on the display. I was going to ask, what do you do with them when you built them? They sit on a shelf in my. I've got an actual. I've got a second room, um, which used to be the room I used to be in all the time for building the shop, displaying everything, streaming, and um, then one day the heavens opened, and my son exclaimed that he was moving out. And I um, rejoice. After I pushed him, I mean, after I helped him um, with all his stuff. I took over his room before he even got the last part of his furniture out. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, I've moved into his room, so now my old everything room is now my display room. And um, the room I'm in now is my build room slash shop room. Nice. It is. It's it's unreal. Uh, everything's so much better laid out and sorted out now. That's good. The downside is the door to my display room is very rarely opened because until Tuesday night streams, I don't build anything to go in there because I'm too busy watching other people's streams or doing yeah. other stuff. Ah, it's all good. I don't get much of my own stuff done unless it's Cherie's stream on Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at, at, at encouraging people and being a bad influence. Um, yeah, I just want to quickly 
say hello to Star Rock. And Brick Summers just dropped in and says, how can you build that many sets? I'm assuming he's talking to you. No, uh, they're not big sets. They're all teeny sets. Well, Yoda's, Yoda's Starfighter was a, a normal set, but the other two are, are battle packs. I'm trying to rebuild all the stuff that I took off display when my display room was my everything room. I'm trying to You're get back to where I was. This is the point where I remind everyone, hit me with a like because I like being liked on my streams. And if you haven't already, submit because she does heaps of work for the Lego <laughs> community. Philip. She should be subscribed to. Yeah, I, I, I try not to beg for subscribers. You're I'm not begging, I'm doing it for you. Okay. Just be, be done with it, people. Otherwise, I won't stop asking. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. No, if you don't like what you see, just subscribe anyway. And if you're too shy to chat live, you can leave me a comment afterwards, or I think you can leave me a comment now, depending on what device you're looking at it. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. And like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at that. used to be my biggest fan, Phil, and now you forget to like things. Yeah, you, oh, let, me, you let me on and I stopped actually liking the videos. <laughs> he stopped liking them and he doesn't watch them either because he's already on them. That's what Bill told me, the same thing. I don't watch your streams anymore because I'm on them. Yep, exactly right. You, 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 you're like, you know, experiencing them in real time. Well, that That's why you just, you know, have your phone or something to the side and just leave it run. Uh, but for your 100th stream, when I was otherwise engaged, um, um, I actually, on Saturday, I actually watched, Saturday morning, I actually watched that stream. Oh, you did? Yes, I watched the stream back. Oh, it was a fun one. Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> yeah, I do actually watch the ones that I'm not on. I didn't like it, but I watched it. <laughs> You forgot to like it, but you watched it. Okay. Douglas is being a smart aleck and says, what's a subscribe? A su subscribe is that little red thing underneath the video that you're watching that says subscribe. But or, the beauty is. If you're watching this on a PC, I have a little pink heart down here or over there. I can't remember if it mirrors. Um yeah, it should be on it should be on that side, I think. And for all the that says subscribe if you tap on that on a PC or a Mac, just a desktop computer. If you tap on that, that'll pop up the link to subscribe. And for all the Twitch heads that are watching, you can subscribe on YouTube and it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> so you should subscribe so you get all the, all the videos. And it's free. Probably the, I just fact. That's why you should subscribe. I don't twitch. And if you are a twitch head, head over and like uh, follow <laughs> between the bricks and dark side bricks. No, no, yeah. mine's not official yet. Shh, shh, shh. Still there. I'm on Twitch, but I'm a viewer, not a not a um, actual Twitch, you know, streamer, streamer yet. No. Well, seeing how the I'm Kiwi, considering it. Seeing how the Kiwis just told everyone anyway. Um, after Easter, I may be doing Twitch streaming once every fortnight and then random streams. But I'm setting up my channel over on Twitch at the moment. Oh, we've got another new face in the live chat. Hello, Mr. Mero. Am I saying that right? Mero? Yeah, something. Mero. Welcome to the madness that is Tuesday night build stream with the husband. Mero, Miro, Mero. We're, we're dumb redneck Australians. You have to spell it out for us. <laughs> they, they are dumb redneck Australians. Sorry, yes, we're dumb redneck Australians. He's a dumb redneck New Zealander. <laughs> hey, he's Dan the man from New Zealand. That's right. And he's not dumb. He's a nice guy. Dumb he's a lovely. He's he's so lovely, dumb, so. He's so lovely, Philip, that we decided to keep him. Yep, exactly. Anyway. 
Oh, I got. I think I must have gotten it right the first time. Oh, has he spelled it out for us? He says, "Yeah, that's correct." So Where are you wrong, my friend? So marrow. Like what? Like what marrow. you found in the food? Marrow. No, that's marrow. But anyway. Marrow. Mirror. Sounds close. That's okay. Uh, I'm forever mangling people's names on YouTube and I beg everyone's forgiveness in advance. Actually, I'm going to put that on my, on my Twitch page. I'm a dumb Australian okay. right now. If I mangle your name, I apologise in advance. Mr. Mara is from Berlin, Germany. Welcome, welcome. Oh, cool. No! What did you do, Philip? I'm missing a piece. <gasps> no! Damn it! It can't be. A black ice cream cone. Uh, ice cream. <sighs> it's not an easy piece to replace. Check the bag and then check the bill. I've checked the bag and it's nowhere on the bill. It's no. That's all right. I'll find on the floor. it. I'm sure I will find another. Is it a new build or a? Uh... No, it's a rebuild. I've, I've probably added it into a certain spot. I just have to fish it out. Oh, it's starting to look more like a well, car. Accidentally dropped it into the um the bag of another set, so it'll surface later on. Ah, uh, Mr. Morrow says. Since yesterday, I look around some Lego live streams. Well, I'm glad you found us. On Tuesday nights, we do live builds. On Friday nights, we have a panel discussion with some of my friends and uh, you know, sometimes get very, very off topic. But it's, it's <laughs> <hang> out. <laughs> often get very, very off topic. We have a safe world. It's called I Like Lego. <laughs> Yeah, we, we can stray very, very far off topic. But, you know, this is like hanging out with friends that have mutual interests and um, talking about, you know, topical things, either in the, um, the AFOL world or in just the general world and what's going on. I know, it's heavy too. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, there are some very good Lego live streamers out there. I'm I'm glad that you've joined us. There are some very, very good out here, and three of them are here. <laughs> and some of them are modest. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Dean. <laughs> Bro, I included you in that. Hey. I included you in that three man. <laughs> By three, I really just meant two. Okay. I'm not a screen. Yeah, okay, more, more comments from our, our German friend. Checking out the international community. Maybe I can get some inspiration for our own community. Well, I have been inspiring other communities. And, and, and infecting our, our local um, recognised Lego fan media and encouraging them to do live streaming and um, be brave and, and get in front of a camera. And, yeah, I, I think that I've been successful so far. So far pretty successful with the ones that weren't already doing it. And, of course, you know, so, so, sometimes it's people who aren't Go, uh, that are just regular athols like myself. I managed to get him in front of the camera. He was dead set against it to begin with, weren't you? Yeah. He's like, do I have to? I don't want to. This thing's getting really hard to manoeuvre. You need like a little, little um, lazy Susan. Lazy Susan twist it around. <laughs> I'm running out of places where I can pick it up too. I had a nice little handy hole mm. handle just here. I can pick it up and move it, but now it's it gone. Now it. it's under panels. 
as well. Live building is a good way of, of um, interacting with your your base of, you know, your group of people that you do your Legoing with. Um, my lug is a statewide lug that would fit most European countries in. So um, a lot of our members are very far away. Philip's actually, um, Dark Side Bricks is actually a um, key lug member, Queensland Lego user group. Yep, it is. And he lives um, <laughs> a decent drive away from me. I live a decent drive away from other people. Um, yeah, we're pretty f far spread out. So this is a good way for us to actually interact with those people that can't make it physically to meets and, and make them feel like, you know, they're a part of the community instead of like a, a peripheral type thing. So, yeah, we have... Um, Makes me feel happy. There's some guys that just lurk in the in the you know and just watch. Um, some guys that that interact in the live chat. They might ask questions. It's a good way to um, you know uh, answer people's questions. So like if if somebody's not been into Lego very long and you know they have a technical question or um, a really basic question on where to buy things, you know we, we can give that information. It's it's a much more personal face to face thing when you're talking. You know, to a person on the other end of the camera. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm right, building I'm here, concentrating. Things into holes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was a lurker for a stalker for ages. Yes, yes. Philip was my best stalker, and then then he became one of my panels. <laughs> uh, another question. Oh, I see the exclusive brickheads in the background. Yes, sadly they're online produced. The, yeah, they're only exclusive in the US. Uh, I have heard rumors that they might be releasing some uh, generally, but I haven't heard those rumors confirmed yet. Uh, I was very lucky. These ones were actually given to me by a friend who lives out in Longreach. He's another one of our log members, very lovely guy, Jason. And, uh, yeah, I, I will not be paying ridiculous amounts of money to get the other two as much as I really would like to. Um Still, then posted from the US. Hey, you bring them open and build them. I will eventually. Can't rush these things. <laughs> Matt says occasionally Aldi have a, a forty centimeter wooden lazy Susan. I've got one. And it's great for large builds. Well. He is subscribed to the Aldi specials, so you know what to keep your eyes out for. For the next time, like when you want to build the the other big thing, the Bugatti. He wants the Bugatti. Yeah, but I'm willing to put it on Big W's Christmas lay by six months to pay yes. it off. Yes. Happy to do that. We are not super rich people, okay? For anyone who thinks that we live at large because we have some large sets that we build on the streams here, uh, that isn't the case. We shop around and we budget and um, we use lay-by and stuff like that. Did, did you skip a step? Oh, you put something in the wrong spot. Oh, no, that's uh, there. He's thinking out loud now. Yeah, I missed this step. Um, just, just on that, mm -hmm. it's amazing how many people do think that because you live stream and because you do Lego that you must have shed loads of cash to spend on it. No, I don't. And like some people have suggested, you know, because, like, this is this is our thing. Like we we don't go out very often. We don't smoke. We don't drink. You know, I have nothing against people that do all those things, but this is our thing that we do together. This is our family time. Um, this is our one all-encompassing, pretty much only hobby. So it's easy when you're not spending lots of money on other things to live, you know, comfortably. You know, and, and not be eating baked beans all the time or something like that, um, and be able to budget to buy something like that. Like this one, he put on lay by for yeah, Christmas, Christmas last Christmas year. Lay by, and you know, it About took six him six months to pay it off. Six so months to pay it off. Yeah. Well, that is box three done. Yay! Shall I move on to the last box? 
Well, you can go and part box, I guess. Um, where's box, box four. four? You got your hand on it right now. There we go. Last box. Box four. Douglas did tell you that box three is a lot easier. All right. Ooh. That's how it's looking now. Getting very orange. Very orange. Nice. I've only got 10 little books left. 10 little books. Jenko, you picked the next number, which was 14. So pick a number between 0 and 11. No. Only Jenko, if he's still there. Mr. Mero says, my falcon will come this week. Ooh, the big one. I know, I know husband here likes the idea of the falcon, but doesn't like the price of the falcon. No. We also live in a small abode, so... Like some people who live in small abodes, there's nowhere to put it even if we build it. And we're not the sort of people to build something and then sell it off. Seems a bit silly. Yeah. I'm just going to mute myself a little bit for a minute. Okay, Jenko, you picked number five. So that's this one. So that's the one I'm doing next. What is that shit? Seven five one six Out there, one, six, seven. I haven't already got that build, have I? What's that doing here? I'm gonna yeah, you might. Okay. So. Okay, I've just got to catch up on a few comments in the live chat. Um, where are we? Warren G says. For funny, I tell people the same thing about not smoking, not drinking, not gambling, etc. It seems to be a common thing with some. There's a certain breed of Lego, you know, fanatics that this is their thing and they don't really do anything else. I'd just rather spend my money on tangible things. Than... Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he he plays you know games on the computer and stuff like that. You know, things that are free or cheap. Hmm. Um, but this is primarily what we do. And because we do shows too, a lot of money gets invested into doing that. So it's 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 kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't really have something to compare it to. Like, you're, you're so invested in it, like physically, emotionally and financially that it's kind of hard to just, you know, go, no, that's it, I quit. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> there it is. Um, what have we got? Uh, uh, Chester says sometimes we blow up buy old pre-owned sets at cheap prices. Yeah, I could probably do that, but I like new Lego. Um, I, I, you're a, you're affliction with dust. Yes, I have an affliction with dust, and like I was over at mum's today helping her do some tidying up and there was a lot of dust and I feel so itchy when I came home. So, like, it, it, depending on, you know, what sort of dust it is, I can go from being just really itchy to the point that I want to scrape my skin, the upper layer of my dermis off um, to, yeah, just feeling really, like, physically sick. Yeah, everyone can see your epidermis. <laughs> I can see your epidermis. I remember that from The Simpsons. Ha ha! I can see your epidermis. Uh, where are we at? Oh, Mr. Mero says it was on sale for 596 euro. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the exchange of that is, but I'm assuming that's a good price, which is good. It's almost two, 
So that'd be like twelve hundred bucks, I suppose. Yeah, for us, but for them, I'm assuming that isn't their regular price. No, it'll be like twenty five percent off discount by the sounds of things. Okay. The Maybe. Falcon, oh, okay, the equivalent in Australia was $940. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's about good. That's not too shabby. The best I've seen it here in Australia was when Maya had it on a ridiculous price at just, I think, just under 900 bucks. That's, that's, if, that's if you went through Maya's eBay page. and, a, and, a, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and how many of those orders did they cancel? Yeah, exactly. They oversold it. Um the way that the eBay platform is set up is stupid because yeah. they're selling from store stock and not from like a distribution point. Um, stock gets sold in the store before it gets fulfilled for the um, orders online. It's, yeah, it's, it's stupid. They but What they should do is they should have the online ordering like at a separate time, like have that special, not the same as the store. Yeah. And that would discourage people from going in store. Then they would order online. Then they fulfill the online orders. I don't think you're but ever yeah, going to Logic doesn't live here. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you're ever going to discourage people. Uh, Bricksong says, living in small apartment is a tough as a collector. I didn't think I would have room for the Falcon, let alone if it was built. Yeah. I look around and it's like, we literally have no room for it. I'm, I'm starting to wonder where we're going to store that. Yeah, I know. It keeps on building like our bigger sets and uh, I really don't want to pull down the Seagull or Disney's bow bow bounty, but I have a bad feeling I might have to. <sighs> we, have, we have pulled apart and stored away quite a few sets, haven't we? Mm. Like, a lot of the Minecraft ones that we built last year. Um, with the exception of the, of the mountain house. cave, which is down there. Um, we've just taken out the mobs and the minifigs and uh, disassembled everything else. And it's all packed up. You get these containers from Officeworks for, you know, depending on the size, four or five or six for 20 bucks. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. They're good, though. Right. They stack away nicely in my mm. cupboard. I've got lots of room here. You never have to break things down, you realize. There's always somewhere they can be stored. Just mm. saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way for a drive just to store stuff. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah you, you know it's not just storing it. He's, yeah, going no. to, he's going to be touching it going, my precious. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mero says, I am so excited, can't wait for the parcel. Oh, bet you're excited. That is a really awesome set. I've seen it built a number of times now, and I'm not a Star Wars person, and I can appreciate it. Rick Song says, Everything in my house is parts, even broke down sets can take up so much space. Yes, that is correct. But broke down sets take up less space than box sets because box sets come with air. <clears throat> I'm playing with normal Lego. He's like, I need to build real Lego. I mean, normal Lego. <laughs> you mean system. You get to build system. Yes. Yay. Uh, Douglas says, I need a C-car sticker sheet. Oh, I'm sorry, my sea cow, I think, has the stickers on it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, we applied them. I, I, washed, I washed the sea cow down on the dust. I took it outside and I hosed it. Because we don't get normal dust here because we live on, like, a major road. Well, actually, an interconnection at two major roads here um, where we live. So we get road dust, which is the worst kind of dust. Plus, um... We have a really old kitchen with a really old range that doesn't work. So um, we get greasy smells as well. Mix that in with the dust and it's yuck. What have mm -hmm. you got there, Dan? <laughs> it's that uh, old Tima set. That's cool. I like the play feature. <laughs> That's neat. Simple but effective. I never thought of using the radar dishes like that. 
Yeah, they're light bright orange as well. Wow. Nice. Love the color, actually. Very nice. Mr. Mario says, ha, 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 good to know that the space problem is always the same. Yeah. Uh, um, unless you, you're lucky and you live in, like, a sprawling, like, house, which you, you can achieve in regional Queensland, but not where we live, unfortunately. All those damn Victorians and Kiwis keep moving over here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, they, they demand places to live, so the developers keep making smaller and smaller little allotments to fit them all in, little boxes made of ticky-tacky. Ah, oh, Diggle says the sea car he got didn't have a sticker sheet. Eight dollars from Europe. What for the sticker sheet? Jeez. That's a bit rich. I suppose it's from an expensive set, relatively expensive. Yeah, about 350. Mm, yeah, we paid full price for that one, didn't we? No, 20% off. Oh, it's 20% off. That's not as good as some. I think there were some better deals like well after we bought it. And we're like, yeah. Darn. Well, that was back when we were amateurs, eh? We we're naive. I mean, you know, we were smart enough to not pay full price for it, but still. There's always back ways and means to get things cheaper. Is that the right way out? Oh, yeah, I see. No, it moved. No. Don't use your fingers. No, I have no choice. It moved. Right. Well, Mr. Mara says, well, guys, I have to go to work. Keep up your passions. Have a nice day, night, whatever. Thank you for joining us. It's been interesting wow. having a new face. Yes. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, hopefully you can catch us another time. I know, I know it's difficult with the time zone differences. As it is, Dan is in the future and it's way past his bedtime. Oh, it's not too bad. It's only 25 past 11. Oh, oh that's right. We got 10 times finished, so it's not quite so bad now. Yeah. And you start early on a Tuesday. Yes, true. True, um, we do. Well, I usually start early on a Tuesday. It doesn't always go to plan. Because I, I usually finish my stream at about 11, so I can basically just bounce from mine to yours. Yeah, and then you'll be already warmed up. Exactly. Well, actually, I get to cool down because I don't have to do all the talking myself. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard when you're live streaming and it's just yourself. It's a lot more work. I've done it a couple of times. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're that kind of personality that just can just, you know. I can't have a dash. Yeah, yeah you certainly sometimes don't get much done, that's for sure. No, no. Because you, you, you have to interact with the people. Yeah. Speaking of interacting with people, Tessa says, cool, Dan. Um. By the way, I have the, that team of sets in second hand, just haven't put it together yet. It's a good set. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, it's team, and not, and team is not everyone's cup of tea. I didn't mind it, you know. I thought it was all right, but some of it felt a little bit overpriced for our own theme. There's some good parts and some good, good minifigs. Oh, there were some excellent parts. And it was certainly dirt cheap when they were clearing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're buying it on clearance, it's all good. But, yeah, some of those bigger sets, I looked at the price of it and went, Yeah. pass. Hard pass. Hard, hard pass. Next. Next. What's next? Lots of light bright orange in these uh, lion ones, and I love that colour. 
You don't see very much of that color combo. What's your favorite color in the Lego palette for working with in mocks? Ooh. That is a difficult question. Depends on what I'm building. Um, when I'm building my Micropolis stuff, usually like, I go one of two ways. Either I have a definitive like like direction that I want to go or I just go with what I have like lots of. So like when Lego was in us um, the play brick boxes in our event support and you'd have just this random, like really random stuff, I would, you know, pick an interesting piece and then I'd go from that. But, you know, those could be like any sorts of colours. Like if you've seen my Micropolis City, it is a really rainbow warrior, but it's that way deliberately. Um, but asking me to pick a favourite colour in Lego is like asking me to pick a favourite child. Oh, hang on, I only have one of those. <laughs> Unless you count him. He, he's like a grown-up child. His, his mother said, congratulations, now you've got two children when she found out that I was pregnant. Lovely mother you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, most men just grown-up children, not to be generalising here. Like, who, who, who really grows up properly as a man? Exactly. Who wants to? Big kid on the inside. There's nothing wrong with that. Exhibit A. <laughs> well, that would last how many years? 15 going on 16? That'd be 16 and 16 and 14. 16 on October. October. Not too bad. No. It's nothing to be scoffed at. Nothing to be scoffed at. No, neither, neither of my sisters made it that far with their marriages. It's nothing to be scoffed at. Sean is clearly a very, very patient person. <laughs> well done, buddy. Considering he has to drive me around everywhere because I don't drive, he is a very patient person, our Charlie. I guess you could say that. Oh, is your back hurting? Tiny bit. A little bit tight or pinchy. He's sitting on the couch. It's more just up sporting, but I know I need to do this. Yeah, you need like some strength. lumbar support. I really just need to get more strength back in my back. Yeah. The only problem know. about sitting on the couch and not sitting on a computer chair is that you've not got any support behind you because like you have to sit like forward to be sitting at the right angle for the table. Hello. We, um, we were actually looking the other day at a, a different kind of table, one that's not a folding one like this, one that um, folds up sideways. Mm. That's designed to be sort of like scooted away when you don't use it. But the problem is, is that we stream so often, this never goes away, eh? No. Sort of. Push it to the side a little bit. Something like that. Mm. But it would be nice to have a more solid... Or at least a, a height adjustable table would be good. Yeah, I'd love a height adjustable table, one that, you know, you could sit if you wanted to and then adjust it higher and stand if you wanted to. Yeah, they're That's not particularly the cheap, though. Nope. Douglas says getting sets from a dark ages is scary. The price tags on some of them are just plain stupid. All relative, though, Douglas. If you look at some of those prices and the cost of living at the time, you'll probably find that it's really not really that different. Oh, hi, Mickey. Mickey's dropped in. He says, I've finished my roller coaster today. So much fun. Now, I think I saw you talking about, was it you that was talking about roller coastering to your lug? 
and that you have you figured out that you have to remove a few links to help it run smoothly i can't remember i saw that post she goes maybe i should go and check before i say things and be wrong i'll be wrong with you because i saw that same post so yeah. I think it was in Keylog. I'm pretty sure I didn't imagine it. Oh, come on. Facebook is being a butt. She goes and she's like, scroll, scroll. Oh, that's what that is. That's well, I know somebody in Keylog was playing with a roller coaster today. Not you. Okay. He says it was funny. I was building at the same time. I pulled four links out of my chain. <laughs> Bosk is the driver. My problem is that I can't remember the name of whoever it was that posted. So I was just like, I remember seeing somebody doing a roller coaster that they just finished today. But ironically, you did it at the same time. Uh, uh, Mickey, have you have you actually posted in QLUG? You should, if you haven't, you should post it, uh, uh, you know, a uh, hi, hello here, this is who I am. Okay, that's set number four done. Dark side is powering through. Machine oh, there, there are any small sets. He's a wee Lego building machine. But I got me bounty hunters back now. Yeah, they'll be back on display. <laughs> Just in, to just in time for me to open my 20th anniversary <laughs> slave one and add um, Zuckers to the crew. Wow, at this rate, you might actually finish tonight. Yeah. Because, of course, I don't have to get up at 5, five tomorrow. Just, you know, a good bonus usually. It's weird. This morning I, I was, like, sleeping. I was, like, sleeping in thinking, oh, I don't want to get up, uh, and then I'm like, "Oh, she is a work day." I got up yeah. and I realized it's Tuesday. Don't you don't you hate it when you wake up and realize it's a different day than what you thought it was? Yep. Okay, back to the chat. Who was next? Mm -hmm. and, and then instead of just you know having a lazy day at home, I did the good daughter thing and went and, and helped mum. She had some stuff to do that she needs to come <clears throat> Okay, the next one was Tessa, who chose number eight. No, I already did Tessa's. Didn't I? Don't think so. Oh, okay. Oh, Mickey says you're not in Kilo, still dipping your toe. Well, dude, we don't buy. <laughs> Unless you want us to. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Okay, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've just uh, released a new Trafalgar Square architecture set. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, look at the detail in that. Yeah, that thing's uh, huge, isn't it? It's flipping huge, mate. For an architecture set, it is, yeah. And I, and I just decided that I wasn't going to do architecture sets anymore. Damn. Hang on. I should be able to show, show people who may not have seen it yet. Pick a um, number between zero and ten. Come on. Brothers Brick have put up the picture. It's very detailed. Very nice. 
Sheree hasn't picked or not picked one yet. Sheree, between zero and ten. I did pick one. I picked seven before. Oh, did you? Okay, Sean. He, he said three point one four because he's a yeah, star. I know because he's an idiot. He lost all his intelligence when he lost his hair and his beard. <laughs> yeah, never sh never shave the beard off. It's like a solid round number. You wally between zero and ten. Okay. Three. Three. I am going to build another speeder because speeder bikes are cool. But Yay! Gonna, where am I? I'm going to build that one. Pie. Yes, Mickey's got it. Um, Mickey, have you got the details for the Sunshine Coast meet? Do I, do I need to tell you? Because I know that they're only posted in the Kilo group, and the other way to see it is if you're in the Kilo group. Is he not in the Kilo group? I don't know. He, he's being he's being coy. Oh, he's doing a fish. Ah, oh, that's all right. Oh, okay, see, see. I thought he said he's not in the kilo group, but clearly he's got the information. Okay. So, right. You, you've got the address of where you're going. I hope. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mickey, Mickey's just a lurker. That's okay. We have lots of lurkers. We we don't have a problem with lurkers. You're allowed to be a lurker. Lurkers are good. Lurkers are perfectly fine. Yep. The best dreamers start as lurkers. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that I'm saying that from prior experience or anything. Maybe I Oh, that's right. Mickey went to the Gold Coast meetup. Yes, please make sure that your RSVP so I know you're coming, even though you've told me. I, I, like, I like to know who I'm looking out for, especially if it's the first time they're going to somewhere. God, I'm going to be restocking the shelves tonight. It sucks. It's awesome. I see so little pieces you might think. So. Yeah. <gasps> it's kind of pinned left, though. He's like, oh my god, I got too many pins but, um, left. All these pieces are going to get pieces connected together. Got so. Multiple pins each, yeah. yeah. I love these Lego Greedo heads. Oh, sorry, Rodian heads. They are so cool. They've done them so well. Very nice. They're a great color green, too. <laughs> Douglas says, Sturker, Stalker times Lurker. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that word works very well. Maybe a Lurker? A Lurker Stalker? Are any of you guys getting anything from uh, the A fold? Uh, sorry, from the the Bricklink A fold. Um, what do they call it? Oh, the designer thing. Yeah, oh, the, I think where they're crowdfunding. I, I think, look, the, only, the only thing I would be even remotely interested in was the. Um, the train that the guy made out of the roller coaster tracks. Oh. The sky the sky train or whatever it was called. Oh yeah. That, that looks I quite think, interesting. I think my mum put in for whatever the Western thing was. Yeah, it looks yeah I saw that and thought of your mum straight away. Mm. Problem is it's still very open at the back. Well that's why I like that train one, because it's not. Mm. The train one was quite good, and it was, and he's even um, put instructions online to motorize it already. Nice. Wow. So yeah, that'd be the only one that I would be interested in, but I'm not sure on the price conversion wise and everything, so I never bothered with it. Yeah. 
Well, I know I, I have thoughts in my head for doing a um a monorail that's not on a monorail, if you know what I mean, for redoing Dinosaur Park. Cool. Um, one of the things that I've cool. got cool. On, a, cool. on a certain order that we know about um, is roller coaster track. Nice. Well, um, one of one of the guys that um, who does the shows with us, he has Disney Disney World, or Disneyland, Disney something, and he has like a little tram type thing going around on roller coaster, and it runs so. Um, oh, the one that's the, the, and, and like, it doesn't need to be babysat. It's yeah. like, beautiful. That's one that's got the Disney Castle, the walkway yeah. down to the Disney yeah, Castle. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, yeah Roger. Yeah. So, like, after seeing that run for a few shows with, without really missing a beat, I'm just like, that's going to be our new monorail. Just got to figure mm -hmm. out how to retrofit the, I'll have to get, you know, actual roller coaster bits to go on it, yeah. to run it, mm -hmm. or have a chat to Roger and find out exactly how he's put his together. Yep. So I'm assuming you'd have to get um, roller coaster. Easy question, Dan. No, I haven't brought anything from it, but yes, I have seen what's available, and um, that that um, roller coaster train setup interested me. If that, if, if any of that helps at all. I like the idea of having like a sky rail type thing that you know could look kind of like it might be a monorail. Are you getting any of them? Yeah. I'd like to get the fire truck, but uh, I'm not sure. It works out. Oh, that was that old 50 style fire truck. Yeah. Yeah, that actually looked quite nice. It fits well with the um, with the rest of the Creator Expert vehicles. It might actually be slightly too big. Oh, okay. Do you think it's been done to fit with the um, fire station? Is that the one that's got 1932? No, oh, it's way bigger than that. Oh, okay. It's it, it, It'll almost be probably the length of the London bus, I'd say. Oh. See, I've still got that problem where I can't look at something and go, oh, that's how big it is. I don't look at it closely enough to, to count the studs, so I never realise how big or small something is until I see it physically being, being held by someone. Yeah, you don't have a sense of scale. Yeah, my perception of how big things are. Because I'm too friggin' lazy to count the studs. I know what it is. I know what it is, but, yeah. Cool. That is cool. If it takes a dish out of that, it can turn it into a death star. <laughs> One of my mates is, 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 is built a blue ball. <laughs> oh, hang on. A blue ball. <laughs> cool. I have a feeling Philip had the same thought I did. Hey, He's gray and have a oh. con and have a big chunk taken out of it. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me, Phil's the second one. He's got problems. Sorry, Dan. What was that? I was going to say, Brecklink have sent an email. Um, revealing the boxes for the A-Fold Designer Program. Yeah, I saw that in my email thing, but I didn't look at it. Well, Bricklink is now broken. Oh, <laughs> dear. Well, damn. Upstairs, was the box good? Don't know. I haven't seen it. I can't get onto Bricklink. Many other people are getting onto prick link. Yeah, that's funny. Hello, mouse. Where are you? I'm on brick link, but I was already there for obvious reasons. Um, see if I can get there from the email. I'll do I delete the email? No, the email's gone. Get to the main page, but that's as far as mine will go. Mm. 
learn more? I, I can't get into the AFL designer program. The rest of Brickling's working. Yeah, I just clicked on learn more and it just sits there and says Bricklink is loading. It goes, oh, somebody fudged with our bandwidth. Too many people are loading the system all at once. Yeah. <laughs> like you're buying SOB, you're not loading at all. <laughs> Mickey says when my, my account starts, my wife gets worried. <laughs> Douglas says my brain, my mind automatically sizes Lego sets. Yeah, I've got to learn that trick. I've got to instead of just looking at stuff, going, "Oh, that's pretty," I've got to actually stop and take a second and see the intricacies. I'm no longer at the stage where I can say oh, I'm a noob. Yep, there goes quick link. They're dead. <laughs> um, yeah, I can no longer use the I'm a noob excuse for not looking properly at certs. I've got to really, you know, take the time and go, oh, so that's how they did that and actually look at the stuff. Yes, Philip, you stopped being a noob a while ago. Yeah, I know. I still don't like to admit that I'm not a noob. I'd rather play it's the It's a scary noob. thing. Hey, hey, at least, at least, at least you're not like the the head of a lug. That that's a far worse responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> the giggle of a man who knows what I'm talking about. That's never likely to happen. So, oh, you could, you could gather together a social group in your area, though. Yeah, too much effort. Not too much effort. You just just find a place where you can go and say, everyone, we're meeting here. Well, I've done, that, I've, done, I've done that online, I guess. Yeah, well, you've gathered them online. Now you need to make them meet in person. Yeah, no, we are. There is plans afoot for that, actually. Yeah, I know, and I'm still waiting. Yeah, well, I'm waiting to be contacted by the instigators, the original instigators of the idea. Yeah. Because I'm all for it if they can get something worked out. Yeah, sometimes you just need to go, hey, are we doing this? Yeah. That's really what it takes, yeah. for honesty. Someone has to push it along every time. Yep, yep, yep. Otherwise, shit stagnates. Yeah. Here's a hint. Don't drop a reddish brown piece on a wood coloured floor. <laughs> Shit. It's what gone forever. No, 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 it'll be fine. <laughs> Douglas says ignorance is bliss. Mickey asks, where are you, Philip? I'm right here. Um, oh, I'm located <laughs> in Queensland. <laughs> About five hours away from you, probably, because that's a, oh. that's, a bet, that's a safe bet to say when you live in Queensland. Mm -hmm. You're about five hours away from everyone, no matter where, you, where in Queensland you live. I'm in White Bay in Queensland. It's funny because, like, the number of times people have been told what, what area you live in, I wouldn't bother worrying. Hey. You're very, being very non-specific. I'm in the Wide Bay. I'm in Bundaberg. <laughs> the home of Bundy Garbage, uh, rum. And Bundy Garbage. Yeah, oh, horrible stuff. I do good soft drinks too. Yeah. Bundaberg Brewers. Bundy, Bundy does nice brewed soft drinks. Okay. Can't knock them. They're nice. Mm. They do a lovely ginger beer. Yeah, Mel likes their ginger beer, but she's a vegan. What was she doing? Oh. <laughs> I don't like ginger. So. Well, they do a... Ginger beer is straight away not something that interests me. I'm not a big fan of their sarsaparilla. Um, don't they do like a Portello type one? Uh, there's a Burgundy. Like a burgundy, something. that's it. Burgundy. Burgundy's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm too much of a redneck. I don't drink fancy stuff or eat fancy stuff. Oh, it's not particularly fancy. Trust me, for me, Sussbrill is something fancy. 
love sarsaparilla. Mm. I'm sure. It's, me, I'm me sure. saying, oh, that's not far away. Do you have somewhere to host a meet? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, at, yeah, some of the guys are actually yeah, trying to get it, yeah, some of the guys are actually trying to get it organized. Yeah, yeah. You the, can't the guys in Harvey Bay and yeah. I can only be part of the conversations if I'm actually included in the conversations. That is true. Because we've even got somebody who lives in Bundy who may be able to get a hold of a church hall for us for on the cheap. Cool. To host an event. So yeah, it comes down to things like that. Just need to get enough people who are interested to make it a viable situation. Yeah. Oh look, we'd take. I'm sure we'd take, and the other guys would agree. We'd take absolutely anyone who wanted to come up for a for a social meet, just to shoot the breeze and maybe build a random settle to. I can't see any reason why anyone would say, no, well, you're not welcome. That'd be stupid. And I definitely wouldn't be that person. Mm. The more the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a rare day when I meet someone and I'm just like, no, no, you shouldn't come. <laughs> there are a few people out there. Yes, but... In every aspect, you're not going to make everyone happy, not all the time. So That is true. And someone's bound to rub someone the wrong way eventually in life. Well, everyone's that, bound to rub someone the wrong way eventually in life. Uh, that, that's the funny thing was like when I was, um, <laughs> he's excited, it's heavy and it's looking more like a car now. It looks like a car. Um, the door. When, I was, when I was reskilling to be an assistant nurse, our trainer was like, one thing you need to learn is that not everyone is going to like you and that some people will hate you for no apparent reason and you just need to deal with it. Yeah, like family members. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> my wife also, my yeah, wife's a registered nurse and works in the same industry as Cherie, so mm. if he says stuff like that. Oh, but, family uh, members. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I thought right. you were talking about, like, you know, family, your family. No, 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 no. no, no. Other people's families. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, I've been I've been sometimes born. you'll get personality clashes and you just have to learn to accept that this person is never going to like you no matter how nice you are and whatever you do for them. They they may not be uh, the kind of person that will actually appreciate your efforts. That's like banging your head against brick wall and you just need to accept that and move on and just get on with things. Which, you know, it's probably the best bit of you know advice that i got it's like you'll have people who think you're an utter bitch even though you've done, never done anything to deserve it yep oh don't worry my um protective nature has already had me receive a warning from melanie not to go near her work <laughs> she tells me she's not allowed inside the door i'm not to go near the place but that's wow. because of my no that's because of stuff that's happened and been said and mm. my protective, my protectiveness of her is, I'll just go in and start swinging, so, <laughs> and I don't mean verbally either. Yeah, I know what you so mean. Yeah, she's warned me that I'm not allowed in her place of work unless she's asked me to come in. It's like, well, okay, fair enough. Uh, Mickey says I've got contacts with schools in Bundy and Harvey Bay. If you need a place to meet. Oh, nice. Sorry. Well, see, he needs to get in contact with Lee and yeah. or Dave in Harvey Bay. Yeah. Because um, they're the guys that are actually, apparently they're the guys that are actually organising it. I'm yeah. just, uh, I've offered the help out where and when I can. Yeah. They haven't got back to me with any actual details yet. Yeah. I think it might be easiest for him to contact you if he just joins the, what was it, the White Bay Lego... Yeah, well, there's no reason why you can't join our group. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in it. I've got people anybody. in there that don't live in the wide boat, so. I was like, I'm in it. They'll take anybody. Yeah. Yeah, and it helps that I'm the moderator. <laughs> Bill was like, I thought you'd already joined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I was a good moderator or a good admin, but yeah. Oh. Uh, 
I, I didn't want to come barging into something that was somebody else's domain. Oh, I'm not worried. I know you're not worried. Uh, unfortunately, you know, when, when you've been around in the community for a little while, you build up a certain amount of, you know, for the want of a better word, people know who I am. Yeah. Um, especially more so since I've started doing mm -hmm. YouTube stuff as well. And we've got a couple of your your fans in um in the group. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute that I have fans. It just doesn't doesn't feel real. Like, if only they were the fans you want. Oh, the weirdo fans that like you know stalk me and then end up sleeping on my couch are the the best kind of fans. Yeah. Yeah, but luckily for you, we're a very short, a very small group. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, geez, Philip, we've even shared a motel room. I mean, we have no secrets anymore. Yeah, mate, we've done it all. We've played, done it all, baby. Played ping pong, ball, ping pong with your head. Yep. During a stream with Bilza. Oh, that was fun. I mean, that's before Dan started being a part of our streams. Dan needs to come over here, and one of us needs to go over there. But you're heading over his way, aren't you, at some point this year? I feel it. Yeah. Or were you hoping to? Uh, maybe not this year. Maybe next year. Oh, the prevention. See, it's, uh, it's that close, and it works out to be the same as me driving down down to South Queensland. But <laughs> if it, when there's a convention on over there, a, a, a good one, one of their main ones, you're not coming through there. You've got no voice. Hello. What about now? Yep, that's better. Oh. I just saw your mouth move, but I heard nothing. That's interesting. I was looking at a different screen. Obviously, that's my microphone. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I could definitely look at potential for Brick Bench in next year. I went a few years ago. I loved it. It was awesome. You should. You should. If you can financially afford it, I, I understand, you know, circumstances can make it difficult sometimes. You already do a lot of travelling for your own life by the sounds of it. Well, I was supposed to be going to Skabeck this year, but I've had to cancel that. Oh, that sucks. I know. Everyone else that are organised to go with are still going. Yeah. I think that's, that'll be like, that's like the Holy Grail, the motherland. I know, right? Well, see how I've never stepped foot outside of Australian soil. For me to go over to New Zealand just because there's an event on at a certain time, and I know Cherie's going to be there at the same time, that would be a huge step for me. I'm sorry, was that a, Cherie, you're going to New Zealand to get a passport? Pretty much, yeah. When you go to New Zealand, make sure you go when there's a good size event on in Christchurch or somewhere, wherever their main one is. And I'll talk I don't, about, I don't I'll talk about hoping, hoping to do a New Zealand one later next year. Because they weren't cool. going to do Brickvention. Like, Mum put it to Dad and said, look, you can either do Brickvention in Melbourne or you can go to one of the New Zealand shows. And Dad was like, New Zealand. It wasn't even like a discussion. He's like, New Zealand. Yep. Then I decided that you know, I'd organise something like as a group with our lug to go to Brickvention. Yeah. It's traveling, <laughs> traveling yeah. inside, inside yeah. our own country costs so much more than flying over to oh, New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Through, through the price of going to Brickvention, oh, we could easily go to New Zealand. Yeah. There's no way Mel and I can make it to Brickvention. We couldn't afford the hotels and the travel and everything else. But we can afford to jump on a plane and fly over to Christchurch. Mm. Uh, fly over to New Zealand for a couple of days and stay there. Stupid. Uh, Mickey, Mickey's asked what Sk Skabek is. Um, it's like a very big uh, Lego show that's actually over in Denmark. It's very cool. People um, from all over the world go to it. It's probably what would be considered the, the it show to go to in the year. <coughs> the Lego community <laughs> engagement team have a lot to do with it. So yeah, it's yeah. a close to being run by lego as a fan show is ever gonna get got started by lego and then they handed it off to yeah. one of the local lugs to continue running yeah but they get all the perks still from lego yeah of course yeah. 
Um, where are we? Jenka says, yeah, my average brick benching costs about $1,000 and I'm from Geelong. Uh, to put it in perspective, Geelong is not very far from Melbourne CBD. No. Uh, and, yeah, that that's probably about the cost for the last time we went was like $1,000 each. That was like airfares and everything and Airfare, accommodation. accommodation. <laughs> because it's like in the CBD of Melbourne, like – if you stay any like further out, you have to travel like so long to get in. That's ridiculous. I know that some people use public transport and train it in, but yeah, that's that's a bit brutal when you're doing three days of show. So we stayed in um, was it the Best Western Travel Lodge, um, which was what about. A little over a kilometer away. Yeah, by foot. It wasn't. It wasn't a, a terribly far walk, and it was nice enough. You know, we've stayed in a lot of motels in our travels. Um, I was think, I was thinking seriously about the whole going to New Zealand thing. Mm-hmm. Not being a um, not being a displayer, an exhibitor. We really only need to go for one day. We could fly over in the morning and fly back that night. You could, but you wouldn't want to go just for one day. I don't know. No, probably not. <laughs> probably want to stay for two. You, you would want to actually, like, you know, hang out with people too. If you're going to come, come and bring a, bring a small exhibit um, and, and space the whole weekend. It's a four-day trip. Come on Friday, go home Monday. Yeah. Fair enough. That's, that's pretty much the best way to, you know, uh, if you're going to bother going to a show, you might as well go as an exhibitor. It only takes something tiny. Whatever the smallest allowable thing. What's that? Okay. That was Jenko's like parking costs. <laughs> well, that would be the beauty of it. If I'm flying over to New Zealand for an event, I won't be parking anywhere. <laughs> Taxi man will be doing that. Uh, Mickey, all taken care of, dude. Go for it. Go for broke. Um, the other members in that group, uh, Lee, whose surname I can't think of right now. Mason. I'm not Lee Mason and Dave David Wallace. They're the Harvey Bay guys that are also Q-Log members. Mm. And there may be more, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, I think Amy's a Q-Log member now, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Amy's a q um, McPherson, Amy yeah. McPherson, really nice lady too, actually. Mm-hmm. And another guy in that group by the name of Michael um, is also a really nice guy too from Bundy. I just have to have say a quick hello to Magic Stones, who's a new face in the live chat, which is joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to just um, pop them in the live chat. We're friendly. We don't bite. Dougal says, have you seen how expensive parking is now? No, but I can imagine. That's why when we're in Melbourne, we just hoofed it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Until we, you know, figured out the trams. <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, we should have gotten, like, one of those little little maps of the, the free inner city trams. I think by the time by the time we could have tracked one of those down and figured it out, it was easy to just walk places. It didn't bother us. We're used to walking. That's good for us. Yeah. You, see, you sort of got the time to appreciate the sights. <laughs> As you're walking past them. Oh, yeah, there's that. Oh. And then it's gone. It does feel like you're in another, a whole other country down there, though. Yeah, it's weird. Weird. There's so much stuff has changed since the last time we were in Melbourne, so I'm kind of excited because I know more people now in the community than I did like four yeah. years ago. So the whole point of going back then was to, you know, 
sort of touch base and, and network and get to you know meet people and hopefully connect with people make some relationships that could you know help us drive drive the group forward but also to enjoy the show oh sorry Janko sent me a photo and I forgot to look at it I'm sorry Janko well, it looks like we've made further progress uh, oh now I have to be a nasty admin and tell someone on the I can't approve them. Oh, cool. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Wide Bay Group I set up just for the Wide Bay guys, guys and girls, so we could trade, inter trade with each other, get information with each other, that sort of thing, organise stuff with each other. And the only reason I've got Sheree in there is for Qlog, in case anyone oh, has a question yeah. about Qlog. Everyone else that's in there actually lives in the area or has a house or owns property in the area, so they've got you know foot, a foothold in the area. Yeah, I'm just special, it's because yeah. he's my stalker. It's just that someone else has applied, and now I've got to be a, a douche and say no. Oh, well, only because of that reason. I'll, I just want to keep it not pure, but I want to keep it for that for the local guys, local builders. Yeah. The person who replied is watching the stream, so hopefully he'll oh, okay. Don't take it the wrong way. No, it's not meant as anything nasty. It's just trying to keep the, the group local, that's all. And you don't have to comment on it. I don't want you to get embarrassed in the chat or anything, but I had to be a douche. My Porsche is starting to look more and more like a Porsche. Yeah, the back half of it definitely looks very Porsche. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to have to do one side of it. Ba -da. Da -ba -da. I've got a whole bunch of the mud guards for that thing. <laughs> You probably have two if you have a look at the correct plastic bag. Yeah, that came with uh, one of those lug supports, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Random things that they are. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Everybody was, yeah. When you have the trade spot at the table, everyone's like, anyone want these orange mud guards? <laughs> and I'm like, I've already got 80 in my own bag. I don't need any more. I'll find a use for them one day. Yeah, it's a shame that Lego uh, won't send us those anymore. Yeah, it is a disappointment, but I can understand why, because the Customs and Border Patrol are a pain in the butt. Well, I did a lot of investigation, and I couldn't find any reason for it. But uh, it is what it is, right? Unless it's different in Australia, but here in New Zealand, all we had to do was set up an import, uh, an importer's code. Mm. Yeah, I think it's different here. I have a feeling it's just Lego just kept encountering too many sets of rules and it that they had to try and yeah, get Yeah, I think they just put it in the too hard easier. basket. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Probably there yet. Yeah. Still got this whole front section here to build and I think it'll just be parts up here. We're getting there. Okay. I believe you. Well, I've done uh, okay, Mickey, Mickey uh, so Brinkvention is in Melbourne when? Um, usually it's in January. And... 
It's usually really early January too. Uh, I think it's mid January. If they stick to the same sort of timing of dates. About the 19th. Um, it should be 17th, 18th, 19th. If they stick to the same weekend they've always always had, and I don't see why they would change it. Yeah, it should be the 17th, 18th, and 19th of January 2020. Is it that late? I thought it was earlier. No. Uh, it's been no. around the same time as the Australian Open. It's usually around my brother's birthdays. That's how I remember. Yeah. And it's also the same time as the Australian Open, which makes it difficult to get accommodation. So if you are going, make your plans early particularly if you're coming from out of town, make sure you book your accommodation sooner rather than later. All right, well, there's the five sets I've got tonight. Ta-da! Five sets. They're such tiny sets. Yeah, four battle packs and an actual set. Bub. But that's, that'll do me for tonight, I think. It's beginning it's not too shabby. Like a Porsche. That'll put some, fill some gaps on my shelves, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Mickey asks, so how does it compare to a Sunshine Coast brick event? It doesn't compare because the people at the brick event haven't been to brick convention. <laughs> Um, Brickvention, okay, you get some of the best builders in, in Australia, but not all of them. Um, but the way that they run the show is a bit different. Like, um, they will allow a lot, a lot of, like, smaller builds. So you don't have to build something that fills a six-foot table to be included. Um, you can build something that's, like, a single base plate size and... You're an exhibitor, which I guess is a good way to get lots of exhibitors there, hey. But that said, um, a lot of the people that live a lot more locally that um, don't have to transport their stuff on planes um, will take much bigger scale stuff. But it depends on the year. Some years they had big stuff from Ryan McNaught, but Ryan McNaught doesn't do their shows with big stuff anymore. He does small, very... Um, Low key things. Well, there was one year he um, recreated Leopon sets out of Lego. <laughs> that was funny. The last time we went was 2016, and that was the last time Ryan McNaught's models were at um, Brickvention Show. The big models, anyway. Um, but that, yeah, if, if you want to. Like, that wasn't the year that J.K. Brickworks went, was it? No, no. J.K. Brickworks was the following year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. The, Ryan had a model at that show that year, but it was just one little yeah, model, it and it was but, under a pseudonym name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it wasn't a big thing. A thing with Julian Assange, I think his name was. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what Sean was talking about. That was funny. Wasn't it the name that some... Um, Random journalist had accidentally given him or something. Oh, oh, Sam McKnight. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a running joke for anyone who's friends with him on Facebook. And he doesn't just friend everybody anymore. Now that he's all famous and stuff. He's like TV famous now. I wonder if I'm still friends with him. I'm going to check now. I am. <laughs> I am. Also, I don't think he just takes. I, I don't think he just accepts every little, in, you know, I want to be your friend thing anymore. But yeah, um, was it? Yeah, a few, a few times. I, I like they mangle his name and call him all sorts of names that aren't his name. And no. the one that stuck at the student and was Sam McKnight. We're still friends. It's okay. Where do you get Sam McKnight from Ryan McNaught? I have no McKnight, idea. Ryan McNaught, you can... Yeah, but Sam, yeah, and Sam. Ryan, Sam and Ryan? Yeah, that's the bit I... That perplexes me. Yeah, it's weird. But anyway. 
yeah, so um, every year is different. Uh, it's, you know, from what I've seen in pictures, every year is a different experience too because they have, you know, different guests that come to speak um, and they have a convention format. So the best to go as an exhibitor because then you don't have to pay for your tickets and you're also part of the show. So you get to see a lot more of the behind the scenes stuff, which you know, I highly recommend if you are a true Lego fan that it's better to go in as an exhibitor as than as a visitor, an outside visitor. Um, you want to be there for convention day, which is Friday. And convention day is when they have you know special guest speakers, they have special competitions and stuff going on during the day. Um, you do get to look at the, the retailers before the general public get to um, have a go at what the retailers have. Lots of lots of different stuff to, to see and do. And, you know, there is a core group of people that always seem to be there, um, but the periphery, the other people that come in change from year to year. So uh, uh, next year will be good because I'm determined we are going to be there. Fund is slowly getting bigger. Yes, yes. We're working on it. We're working on it. The hardest part is because he works for himself, we need to, like, actually cover his lost income as well. <laughs> Jenko says you feel like you want to die on Sunday. Yeah, because, like, you, you, you're you setting up Thursday and sometimes partway through convention day as well, and then you've got two full-on days of on your feet with the public. Um, yeah, it, it is a big thing to do three days in a row. But convention day is generally a lot more chill. Um, but they also have other things that happen after hours. So, like, usually Friday night they'll organise something. So I'm not, not sure whether they changed the format this year. The, the VIP. I think yeah, they had the night. VIP night was on Friday this year. And then, no, it was Saturday because they went to the... They went to chatty after. They went to chatty after. Yeah, they still had it on Saturday. So they had a VIP night, which is, you know, pretty much for exhibitors. Um, and then they had uh, a AFL night at um, Chadston uh, Lego store um, at the Discovery Centre, which was, you know, from everything I heard was very awesome. I wish I was there. Yeah, going to the pub on Friday nights. <laughs> There's a pub across the road and down a bit that generally, the you know, some people go and have have dinner at the pub on um, on Friday night. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a really good social thing. You can opt in and out of things. Like if you don't want to go to everything, don't you don't have to feel like you have to go to everything. Uh, it's it's a really good experience, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, we had a good time. We were really bummed that we couldn't go the following year or the year after that, or the year after that. Oh, no, the year after that or the year after that. Not, not the year after the year after that. 17, 18, and 19. Oh, three. yeah, we've lost, we've missed three, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know, only Friday night. Hello, Bill Z. He's going to beat you, mate. <laughs> only because you had tech issues on Sunday. That's what I've done. Oh, yeah, he's flying. He's flying through it now. Yeah, and I heard that the heat was pretty pretty nasty um, the last couple of years too. So we we dodged a bullet, and the year we went was bloody cold. Yeah, the year we went was weird. Got off, got off the plane, plane and had to put like, jumpers on. This is a bit cold. I think I need my jumper out of our luggage. So um, we had to wait until our luggage came out because I was uh, I stupidly didn't think to. You're supposed to go and layers people when you go to Melbourne. Four seasons in one day, baby. Four seasons in one day. We were the crazy Queenslanders walking down the street wearing thongs. And everyone else is like looking at you like you freaking mad Queenslanders. We know that you're from Queensland. Nobody else wears thongs around here. But that's jandals to you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and flip flops to the other peoples around the world. <laughs> Dan's giggling. I, I know some of the lingo, mate. What should I say, bro? What do you mean, great weather? 
This was a 2016 Janko, not last year or the year before, the year before that. I mean, not this year, not last year or the year before that. Well, the weather wasn't too bad. It wasn't too overly hot. It was warm. Last, uh, apparently, we missed the heat wave. Yeah. The heat wave was but the day it, before we yeah, arrived. It wasn't what I would call hot, but I think on Sunday I changed into my Keelug shirt because the Keelug shirt breathed a lot better than yeah, the Yeah, I think the, the last day shirt. was starting to get warm again. Yeah. So I think we arrived on the Thursday. Apparently the Wednesday it was like 39 degrees or something. Mm. The next day was 19. <laughs> it's been great weather all big benches. Yeah, there's great and then there's tolerable Janko. <laughs> it can it can get a wee bit hot in Melbourne, especially in that building. Um Warren G has said the Sydney Rick show last weekend seemed a bit small. I think what you mean is it's not necessarily that it was small because on size wise, like the floor space I think was just as much, if not more, from what I've been told. Um, I think the problem is, is that the scale of the bills, there wasn't a lot of huge bills. There were some people that um, weren't there. I have heard whispers that there is some kind of discord going on in the Sydney area with affles. I like to keep out of the drama, but um, I'm assuming something's been going on and there were certain people that usually go that weren't in attendance so uh, that would create a, a hole similar to what when Ryan McNaught stopped bringing all his big stuff to Brickvention. Um, you know, people notice when the big things are not there so much. So uh, from what I saw in pictures, the quality of what was there was good. There was just a lot of smaller exhibits because I think they had a lot more people that were coming from outside of the Sydney area. Uh, was it Jenko says yeah there was one year that it got to 40 I think that was last year not this year I think last year was the one where everyone melted brickvention okay. flipping seamlessly between different shows one year I will make it to Sydney it's on my to do list yeah. I want to make it to Bricktober too in Perth um, that one looks like a really good one to to go visit of course, that's in October. MK Briggs got to show his fallout display. I'm just reading stuff randomly out of the live chat now. Almost there. I can see. It's kind of like a car. Wing. Vroom, vroom. Put a door and a front fender to go and headlight. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you keep going. You're banned from saying yeet. Yeah. He's like, I say yeet inappropriately all the time just to offend the teenager. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeet. Yeet. Nikki says it needs wheels. Patience, young Paddy one. It's coming. Wheels are always the last thing that Lego like, always has you put on. All right. I'm like, ooh. ooh. That makes a very satisfying um, sound and, and just the give as you pull the hubs out of the box. Do you want to pull one out so you don't feel left out of it? You see what I mean? It's like that little noise and a little give. Yeah. It's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a strange woman. I'm assuming the wheels the are in there. tires are underneath. Yeah. But definitely needs that front. Diggler says putting the wheels on is the hardest bit. Watch me. I'm clinging. I don't think they're clinging me, though. This is the part where I remind people if you haven't liked this stream yet, show me a little uh, support if you like what we do here. 
um, and hit that like button. It does help my channel to be seen by other uh, Lego fans like you guys. And I like, you know, um, reaching a wider audience, particularly because, you know, I'm trying to uh, showcase a lot of what... Very interesting boys. <laughs> yeah, I know. What um, our local Lego apples do here in Australia, in my part of Australia. Of course, you know, um, not a lot of people come up to Queensland to go to shows. Mickey says, the box layout in that set is awesome. Wheels are the first you see and the last to go on. Yes. Uh, Douglas says that putting the wheels on is the hardest bit because it means it's over. <laughs> you, 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 you're putting it together is finished. You're yeah. finished. But it's, it's a journey. It's an experience. Oh, yeah. It's a destination. Definitely an experience. He's like, I'm never making a tent except again. No, he kids. He wants, to do, he wants to do the Bugatti now. Crazy mm -hmm. man. Do you want to put on the last tub or do you want to let me do it? Do it if you want. Okay. This is a job that I'm capable of. Like, you didn't put it on properly. Let me fix it. That's just seating them in there. Yeah, I have, I'm pretty sure I did seat them properly. You're just... I'll see the problem. You're just a weirdo. What do you mean they're not seated properly? Hey. See how that's not lifting there? Yeah. There's a little bit of a lift in that. Into that. You're a weirdo. What? Like a normal bloody car fire. Yeah. Yeah. You do that one right Such big wheels. I oh, know. Fat class too good for burnouts. Oh my god. Bob Jane moments. <laughs> I'm such a good tie fitter, although he he is very, very um critical of my tie fitting abilities on a big wheel. I think this is the biggest wheel I've ever put a tire on. Yeah. I have to be. We we did some fairly decent sized wheels on some of the cars we've done. Yeah. Oh, not that big. That is no. I think the Bugattis are just as big. Yeah. So the the wheels came in this box, so the um the rooms are in the top if you missed it when we unboxed. And then the, the wheels weighing underneath and you assemblage them. It's quite a nice box setup. It's Designed to be an experience, a premium oh, experience. Yeah. So, um, hence all the black. If you know anything to anything about like um, color theory, black is um, prestige color. Yeah. You'll notice that um, the architecture sets also come with um, black lining on their boxes or black on the boxes. This is a prestige build. It's aimed at adults that spend lots of money. Did you line the yellow dot up with the nozzle? What yellow dot? What yellow nozzle? Dot nozzle. There's a yellow dot and a nozzle on what? On what? Don't see no yellow dot. You're in making the puzzled now. On the car? What nozzle? Yes. More information is needed. Douglas is being cryptic. I don't see no yellow dot on these, so you must be talking about on the car. There's one yellow dot. No idea. Unreal cars. 
My OCD kicks in when I see cars that aren't done properly. I still don't know what you're talking about. Boop, keep going. Frustrating to see him so close to the end, but there's still so many steps to go. I'm at uh, 797 out of 856. You can do it. On new tyres, there are yellow dots that are meant to line up with the air nozzle to balance them properly. I don't think these have those things. No. <laughs> I just get my tyre place to do my balancing. Because they're the experts. Leave it to the experts. Yeah. I'll let you handy like that, in which case go for it. Don't be dropping shit. And Douglas was saying earlier that it's weird um, because it's no longer daylight savings. It's still feeling later to him. Like it messes with your body clock. Maybe I think it messes with our body clock just going back and forth over the, the border for a show over a weekend. Doesn't take lots. No. Okay, so... <clears throat> I was out walking this afternoon with my wife and the dogs mm. and I was telling her about uh, on my stream how I, I, for my subscribers, I tell them that they're all part of um, Cloud Kiwi Land. Yeah. And, you know, that being a play on, on Cloud Cuckoo Land and my wife was like, what the hell's Cloud Cuckoo Land? And I said, you know, it's Unikin in Cloud Kiwi Land. And what I do is I write all my subscribers' names on a on and making a cloud, right? Uh huh. New Zealand and the land of the long white cloud, and cloud, <laughs> and cloud cuckoo land. Yes. To cloud kiwi land. Yes. And then I was like, you know, it's Unikitty's place. It's where Unikitty lives. And my wife's like, who the hell's Unikitty? <laughs> then the thought popped into my mind about, hang on. What about Uni Kiwi? Well, I'd like to introduce you to Uni Kiwi. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Yes. The Uni Kiwi. It's a sitting Uni Kiwi. It is a sitting Uni Kiwi, yeah. I actually, I'll have a look and see if I have some. Uh, um, some, uh, some, what are they? What do I need for these? I need those arches. Let me check. Um, let me hang on. Let, 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 let me show you. It's a one by three arch. Yeah, do they do them in brown? Um, I imagine so. Uh, Mickey asks, 
In QLAG, is there a business directory for people who run their own businesses that we can support? Um, I've been trying to get together a business directory for um, particularly supporting people who are, are financial members of the club, um, but people have been a bit shy at doing that. We do have a directory of people who have Bricklink stores. They may not all be active at the moment. Um, we've also got a directory of people who are on YouTube. Uh, um, if you want to put together a business directory, uh, I, I can probably do that if there's interest. Um, he says a kitty only has two legs, not four. A unique kitty doesn't have four legs. It only has two. Mm -hmm. The way that's built. The only one that has four legs is um, Ultra Caddy. The mini movie. I'm not yawning, I'm not yawning. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. I missed that. Uh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's not a train on coming. I hope. Um, Kitty Kitty, I think, is supposed to be a unicorn cat. But um, the way that Unikitty is built, Unikitty does not have four legs. I think the closest you get to her looking like she's got four legs in the regular star, um, from the new movie where I think when she has the disco boots, it kind of sort of looks like she might have four legs, but she doesn't actually have four legs. If you're talking strictly about how the way that Unikitty is built. Uh, um, the whole point of it is when people do a themed uni kitty is that it's supposed to be like uni kitty if uni kitty was in dress up kind of thing. They do it in that style, but um, you know, like the 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 structural style of uni kitty, but they do it in a theme. Like I have um, a Darth Vader uni kitty. <laughs> you do? Let's have a look at that. Hey? Let's have a look at that. Oh, hang on. Okay, let me click on us. It's a Chris McVay design. There's there in the middle, in the front. You see? Uh, yeah. You see him, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure you were being awfully quiet. Sorry, I was on a different screen. No, they, no, I saw that. That's cool. There it is. Yeah, it's um, a neat design. Actually, if you look for, I think it's called Unicithy, you might be able to find it if you Google. Yeah, I don't think you'll get it off his page anymore, though. He's oh, probably, yeah. yeah. He's, now but you might going. find other people have maybe mirrored pictures. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's one of the things he had to do when he started working for Lego was to shut his page down, unfortunately. Oh, you talking about Chris McVeigh? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.
Uh, Mickey says, I can't get my head around Unikitty. I just want to put my Unikitty series in a lecture theater in a mock of a university campus. Do it. Do it. She just takes up a little bit more space than a minifigure because of the way that she's built. I believe there can be so many pieces left yet, not very many pieces left. Just because <laughs> so many pieces going for <laughs> Oh, uh, D- Douglas is quoting some some very um, classic Unikitty business, business, business. Is this working? I think she also says numbers, numbers, numbers. Yeah, it must be business, 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 numbers, numbers, numbers. Yes, it's working. And she has like you know symbols, like dollar signs and stuff all swirled across her body. Have you got that, Yankee? Yep. Yeah, she's got percentage of euro sign. She's drawn on her um, glasses to look like, you know, an office worker. <laughs> I love you, Annie Kitty. I draw the line at getting the San Diego Comic Con version, though. That's just insane. Hear that? That's the sound of concentration. Cling, 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 cling. I love when he clings and then people just, you know, giggle to themselves. Oh, no. Giggling at you going on about all the, all the blings in the background. Bling, 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 bling. Yeah, the funny thing is, is that the plings aren't mine. They're clearly Philip's. Philip's special. What? What have I done? You pling, Philip. You're plinging in the background. You're getting messages. That means you're loved. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bling, bling, bling. It's all Dan saying nasty stuff about you, but I keep telling him he's wrong. <laughs> said you weren't fit to eat with pigs, but I said you were, so it's all good. I'm, no. still, I'm sticking <laughs> with you. <laughs> you okay, Philip? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know <laughs> you next time I need someone to stay, somewhere to say it'll be uh, nut. <laughs> oh, is that the time? Jeez, look at the time. <laughs> Yeah, and before he's like, oh, it's not that late. We're not daylight savings anymore. It'll be right. Yeah, I keep looking at my clock because I feel like I should have picked Mel up an hour ago. Well, half an hour ago. And all of a sudden, it is quarter to one in the morning, I just realised. Mm-hmm. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, dude, look at the new leg. Like, yeah, like, oh. Oh, yeah, it's like a. Ha! Janko says, ha! Oh, I just found a video I put on YouTube two years ago. Wow. How, how do you lose a video? I, I, I can't, like, process this conversation. That's weird. Knocking shit ass over. Don't force it. 
<laughs> Why am I broke? Why are you broke? Someone's selling a UCS R2D2 for two hundred and fifty dollars in Victoria. Do you know train cable? You should look at things when uh, you I can't help it. They appear on my newsfeed. No, I'm not buying anything until I get this table finished. So far, I've been a good boy and I haven't done anything silly. So, mm -hmm. so far. I've got to have a good stern talking to the bills there too. Yeah. I've been walking for the last three evenings. Yeah. And I don't eat after 5, 5 p.m. Yeah. Sounds serious. Mm, serious enough that I had a um uh, a lack of sugar headache yesterday. It near killed me. My God. Mm. I used to suffer migraines. The lack of sugar headaches just as bad. I swear. But I got over it. I got better. You moved past it. Oh, I'm sure it'll hit me again next week or in a couple of days' time. Um, last time. I went on a full-on diet and started trying to look after myself and lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, I suffered for about three three weeks of just on and off headaches until the sugar got out of my system. Yeah. But the first one's always the worst one. If you can get through that, you're okay. To a degree, anyway. But, yeah, my goal is to lose 30 kilos as quickly as possible cool. yeah, and then try and plateau mind you me losing 30 kilos still puts me at 100 kilos but when you're as tall as me and have my build i can carry 100 kilos safely so yeah This is like watching somebody do a marathon. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should just grab some small build and do another build or not. I'm almost there. He's so glad for his paint. Oh, no, I'm not having a go at you, dude. I'm just thinking of what, what small builds do I have that I could just polish off quickly. Well, it looks like it's been a night for speeders. I've built two speeder bikes and a snow speeder, so I might as well build another speeder. <laughs> uh, Mickey's off. Thanks for joining us, Mickey. See you, Mickey. Make yourself known on that on that Facebook group too, dude. If you haven't already gone. Oh, yeah, and because I'm such a big softie and a big sucker, that person that I wasn't going to approve, I've approved. Yeah, I was looking at some of the people in your group going, they don't live in the area. Um, a couple of them have told me that, but they also told me that they do have properties and they do come from the area. So I do take that into account as well. Yeah, some of them I look at and go, no, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Look, as long as they don't rip any of the locals off or do anything wrong to any of the locals, then I really don't care. I really don't yeah. mind. Yeah. But it was more to keep the locals safe from anyone, you know, looking to make a quick buck or whatever off them. Yeah. At least with Lee, David and myself there, if someone does try and do that, we can stop it. Yeah. Or at least give them a full warning. Uh, if somebody rips somebody off, seriously, um, in my groups that I manage, that's an instant ban. You never ban. Oh, yeah, no, it will be in mine too. Don't worry about that. Well, not, not my, well, it is my group, but, yeah, it will be the same in, in this group as well. Yeah. Okay, let's do this little set. Has, uh, his channel is off in walks, it's, but it's a dead channel I might revive. You should, dude. I found it. I subscribed. 
subscribe to Aussie Mox, you might have to look it up as a channel name. Aussie Mox. Aussie Mox spelled with an A U S S I like me. On on YouTube. They're like Aussie Mox on YouTube. I think he's only got like five subscribers. Hang on, hang on, slow down. Probably about to double that. <laughs> Aussie Mox, one word, capital M O C. Um, uh, Aussie Mox, I think it's two two separate words. Aussie Aussie. Mox, M O C S. Okay, I'll just do Aussie Mox. There it is. Little mini fig standing under a tree. Yeah, I think that's one because he said that it was one one he found one video and was from two years ago. That okay, well, you've got six subscribers now, dude. I'll shout you out, Janko. Now you've got to make some content, mate. Purely and utterly because I'm a I'm a um, stream poor. I watch all all, vid all Lego videos and stream. <laughs> I, I, the Lego. So. I reckon I've watched ninety five percent of all Lego videos that are on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I have the time to sit here and do it. Yeah. That's when Dan's not streaming. Otherwise, I'm watching you stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't, Jan laugh, don't laugh. It's true. <laughs> Janka, you need to put a video up of your of your windmill, mate. A video <laughs> of anything, dude. Or anything, yeah. anything, anything. Look uh, at some of the dodgy I'll videos I've got on my channel. <laughs> I'll watch it. Oh, the Brickhead family's popped in. Hello. We nearly finished the Porsche. What? Well, when I say we, he has nearly finished the Porsche. If you don't recognise him, it is Aussie Brick Bloke. He has just had a shave and a haircut. And some lipo suction. And now all you need to do is get a, get a real job. Was it get a haircut, get a real job? Yeah, get a haircut, get a real job. <laughs> and stop losing age. It's okay to lose weight, but don't lose age. It'll make the rest of us look even worse. <sighs> oh, I can stop looking like Santa in 10 minutes. That's... Yeah, that could be disturbing. Sorry? If you were to shake it all off, I think it would shock everybody. Oh, I'd keep the goatee if I did anyway. I've always had a goatee ever since I was able to grow facial hair when I was like 30. A goatee. Nah. I, couldn't, I couldn't grow facial hair until I hit my 30s. Weird. Yeah, definitely. Tell me about it. Oh, Janko says he might, might revive his channel. You have to do it, dude. You have to now. You have to. I'd, I have I'd, expectations now. I demand content. I didn't say I'm your subscriber. I demand content. <laughs> he's going he's to delete the whole channel now. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, and then the next step is you, you come on, you come on my on my live streams. Oh, then you know you're in trouble. You're, that's hook, line, and sinker then. Trust me, I know. <laughs> It's all over once that happens. Really, you in? Now, Sheree, can you reach to the screen and find me this stud shooter I can't find? What? 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 It's all right. I found it. Oh, okay. Too, you were too slow. I know. You are too slow. All you had to do is reach through the screen and find it for me. Oh, reach through the screen. I thought that's what I heard, and I was like, no, no. I must have heard that wrong. It's like, no wonder you don't help Sean Bill. <laughs> no, can't even reach through the screen to help out a fellow streamer. Jeez, I'm not God. <laughs> All of that we've managed politics and religion in one stream. <laughs> Gee, Sean, you've got a sexy butt. Even if it is orange. <laughs> That's looking really, really good now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I know. That's very looking. That's very Porsche looking now. Buttoning up the last few things. Yeah. Funny, funny how a body shell can do that. Yeah. I think Douglas is is, is getting um, withdrawals. He says, dogs are funny when they dream. I, I, I think he's missing being on the string. The, the problem is, is that we're not on daylight savings anymore. So, like, it takes you an extra hour to get home. Yeah, the running twitchies. 
Actually, when I've got Mara inside the um, champagne border collie, the red collar rescue one, um, when we have her inside and she falls asleep on the lounge during a thunderstorm or whatever, she runs in her sleep. That's the funniest thing. It's only from the ankles down that her paws move like this and she's running in her sleep. Uh -huh. I'd love to know what dogs dream. It must be the best dreams. They seem to be having fun, that's for sure. I totally agree with you there. I'd love to know what it is too, actually. I know when I dream it's terrible. <laughs> I'm glad she's having yeah. nice dreams at least. Yeah, well, I need the tires. Unless, of course, she's running away from something, in which case it's a horrible dream. But hey. He's putting on the tires now. Douglas was not, not kidding. This is this is an exercise. Jesus, look at the size of the thing. And they're going to make a look Technics trailer to take that? Holy crap. Not that one. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I was all impressed there for a while. No, I think you're talking about like the, the Corvette one that um, Bill's had bought. Well, in, in that case, Sean, I think you should make a um, a two story car trailer that you can park that, the Bugatti. <laughs> um, what other ones are in that side range that you've got? Uh, the Bugatti and Porsche so far. Okay, well, you only need a single level then. I'll make, but you've got to make it in a way, you've got to mock it in a way that you can add the second level to it later on. It'll be like a bookcase. It'd be awesome though, wouldn't it? I'll bet. It'd uh, look awesome. Uh, Ada, you join in just in time to see the, the wheels go on. Oh. Uh, hey, Billsy, he finished. <laughs> hey, Billsy. He, he finished it. Technically. That is an impressive looking piece of Lego. It's flipping huge. Yeah. But it's Technics, so I never will build it because I won't do Technics. I don't like Technics. Brum, I'm, brum, too, brum. I'm too challenged to do Technics. Uh, Douglas says next week, Sean Paul starts the Bugatti. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We have a Bugatti. Like somebody else we know has had a Bugatti and then had to sell it. Yeah. Right. Mmm. No, he doesn't actually have it yet. No. But he will, God damn it, he will. <laughs> I'm planning on it. Yeah, Sean doesn't have the Bugatti yet. It's it's on his to-do list. So what is next week's bill? Everyone wants to know. Good just, question. Just putting you on the spot here. We didn't think that he'd finish it tonight. No. Well, you mean you're really on the spot. So what's next week's bill? Oh, no. no idea. I could, pick, I could pick a couple of things, but if we work just off your back wall and you have a nice, easy couple of Tuesdays for a while, which oh. you probably deserve after that, Uni Kitty, the Uni Kitty box and the Creator three in one box behind Cherie. They're my votes. What's uh, that? Is that the treehouse? Actually, yes, if that's the treehouse, I want to see the treehouse. Yeah, yeah, I've got the, the creator tree house. I've also got uh, a smaller creator house there. No, the tree house and the uni kitty set. There you go. You've got boxes uh, on display. It is, it is. Congratulations. Matt says that was good timing. I just finished slave one. Douglas says assembly square. Tasha says awesome job, Sean. Hey, that, that was a freaking marathon. Yeah, that's why I didn't go for something like the assembly square. I thought you might want to have a bit of a break. Thing is cool. Give some relaxing builds before you hit your next big one. Yeah, I, I think we need to take a break from the absolutely huge yeah. builds for a little bit. So create a three in one trick house. Well, we might, what, what I'm thinking we might do is gather together some of the smaller sets that we've got and, and have everyone vote next week. So make sure you tune in next week on Tuesday night at 7 7.30. So you can have your say in what we build uh, if you're not there at 7.30. I'm sorry, boys and girls, you'll miss out on the telling us what to do. That's the fun part, mm. is telling us what to do. Yep. We do that sometimes. Yeah. What's the biggest set we have in the pile of shame at the moment? Um, assembly square. Yeah, probably assembly square if you're talking about box size. The assembly square and the... Um, I suppose we can tell them now. We have the corner garage too. Huh. 
Oh, good. You know, I don't have to keep quiet about it. <laughs> don't tell me secrets like that and then say, okay, pressing buttons. <laughs> That's just nasty. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Teaches me uh, some. Don't get this to the big one next. No, Janko, um, I think he needs to have a break because he's just done a full week on one thing. That's uh, the first time we've done Phil that long. Yeah. I'm just building the uh, luggage. Well, we did the Jago docks in the city. That took a few weeks. I, I think, think that was, that was three. like. No, I don't think it was three. It was three. Felt like it was five. Anyway, it was a long time. We'll, we'll take a bit of a break because um, with with the thing with Greenwald, I don't know whether you'll need to work next the day. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. We might get back into something bigger the week after. We'll see how we go. Mm. Don't want to overdo things. <laughs> Diggle says, build a spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. Well, I didn't think I built that one. I think he built that one. I built it. He's like, she didn't, when, when we bought that, she didn't make sense. Uh, Martin says, he's not finished. Yeah, he finished the main part of the build. He's just finishing the luggage now. So he's yeah, not got a piece quite. Of luggage. Yeah, he's not quite finished, finished, finished. But he finished the carpet. He was excited. And wanted, he was excited. And wanted to show the carpet. Okay, that's why we're still here, and I haven't said goodbye yet. As tempting as it is. You should see what I've been given the green light to build. Uh, my new, my third table, my new table. Ooh. Oh, hang on. What am I looking at? Kiwi. I see uni kiwi. Uni Kiwi. Holy God. That is cute. Jesus. I love that vision. That is cool. Do you have Instagram or something like that, Dan? Oh, you should at the very least put that on your Facebook. Yeah, I do have Instagram. Ha, <laughs> Douglas says now I can build a spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. Ha, 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 ha. I, I disassembled it. That was enough, please. What are your – I've got a question. Mm. If someone's got classic space, would you be in any way perturbed, disgusted if you saw classic space mixed with the new Benny stuff and Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship? I don't know. On the would you think – Yuck, or would you be up for that sort of thing? I reckon it'd be cool to mix it all in. I don't care. I've seen people put um, like custom minifigures in with classic space, and it looks great. I think it should be mixed in. That's exactly what its intention was. Isn't this just a revised version of an older yeah, set anyway? Yeah. The same number? Okay. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. All I needed That's to know. What I building for everyone at home. I'm a purist, so yeah, uh, I was perturbed at the thought, but maybe I'm wrong. It goes, goes in your in your frunk. In your frunk. Yeah. Yes, because a Porsche is nothing but a, a rich man's Volkswagen, and that's where Volkswagens have their boot in the front. Yeah, because it's rear engine. The engine's up here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it has a frunk, not a trunk, a frunk. Yep, they have their junk in their front. Yep. Junk in their front, not the back. I heard that it's somewhere that you can send in for a, um, to register your Porsche or something. Yeah, there's a, um, there's a unique number. A unique code, it's in the um, box. I'll send you a certificate. Yep. Okay, next step. Okay, we are officially finished now. We are officially finished. Uh, and that really, really huge, huge manual that I accidentally ripped one page out of. I'm sorry. It was an accident, and the pages are so paper thin. It's crazy. Yeah. I was going to say, how did you manage that? Uh, 
my finger was a little bit sweaty and I sort of brushed it across it and just went. Oh, uh, fair enough. Yep. I didn't like the pages come out neatly. I, I could probably put a line of glue on it and carefully put it back in for him. Another day. That's a job for another day. Anyway, on that note, I think we should show it one more time for everybody. Blomp. Blomp. He's excited. Oh, he did it. My first technique set. No, you I've finished. You did it. You did it. You really did it. Now I have no idea where you're going to fit it, but I have no idea either. Um, because it's so huge. Uh, yeah. So, what are your final thoughts? What What advice would you give to people who haven't built this yet? Take your time. Don't Look do it on that live stream. Make sure you pay attention to what pieces you need to get. <laughs> do each step very slowly. Make sure you get all the pieces before you start a step. Mm -hmm. Don't skip steps. Don't skip several steps. You will have to go back and it will be painful. Do you think that's value for money? I think so. That, that, that wasn't very convincing, I think so. Well, Considering how long it takes to build, yes. I'm not a huge technique person. This is one of the very few techniques technique sets. Yeah, I'm quite impressed at how much curve they managed to get with the, you know, technique pieces. Mm. And um, yeah, I think the only thing I could do to enhance a set is to get rid of the stickers and actually print parts. But you yeah, know, you get that. Anyway, um, are we ready to wrap this up? I think so. I think so. Congratulations, yeah. you finished. Yeah, I just got my, uh, my last set finished as well. Woohoo! Oh, All right, I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat, whether you um, st started with us early, popped in somewhere in the middle, or whether you mm. lurk and don't comment. That's fine. I love everybody who comes and joins in whatever way you're comfortable with. Um, it's nice to have company and this is our way to you know, get in and build stuff, um, you know, a bit of motivation. Hopefully it'll rub off on you so you won't end up with a, a Lego pile of shame like ours. Hey, honey. Mm. So we're here every Tuesday night at 7.30, sometimes a little bit later if we're a little bit disorganised with dinner. Um, and uh, you can catch me on Friday night, uh, TGI Friday's, live stream with uh some of my other lego friends including the guys that are here on the panel i want to say thank you to dark side group no problem always here because i'm a stream ball you <laughs> are i wouldn't have you any other way and also thank you dan for breaking your tuesday night cherry no problem thank you bye bye from uniki we look the <laughs> version looks better than standing version yeah, I think so too. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Same Lego don't do the one by three arch in British Brown. Oh, so well. we'll stick with this version. That looks good. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks for that. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's been great. You've been a really good panelist in 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 the stead of Bilza. Hmm. And, and you stuck it out the whole time, even though you're in a different time zone. So thumbs up for that. To everyone else, have a great night. I will see you on Friday. He will probably see you on Tuesday. Yep. And uh, keep on building. And uh, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.